Hey everybody, Uncle Wooly here for some more, well, I guess Dark Souls 2. It feels like it's been longer than a week, but uh, it hasn't. It's uh, ju We just had so much going on last week with the uh, launch of God of War Ragnarok, uh, with a ton of Final Fantasy 4 on Friday. It was nice to get a longer uh, Final Fantasy stream in. And then also some virtual brewing of the beer on Saturday. And speaking of such, uh, well, this Saturday, we are not uh, brewing virtual beer. We're doing the real thing. Uh, that will be this Saturday. We're going to be brewing a holiday ale. It's going to be a, an IRL cooking stream, if you will. And uh, it's going to be just a hangout session, really. There's a lot of waiting that happens during uh, brewing of ales and lagers and any of the fine uh, spirits. So... We'll be just chilling out, maybe do some words on stream to pass some of the time, uh, maybe some other activities. And let's see, I do have the book handy. We will also read some more selections of this fine book, The Complete Joy of Home Brewing, by the very, very talented and uh, uh, just lots of good humor in here too from Charlie Papasian, so. Uh, definitely uh, will be part of the agenda on Saturday. That's uh, that's something to look forward to that we're doing this weekend. It's going to be a little chilly, so I will be kind of in and out uh, of the house. So we'll try to have like a dual cam set up where we have one camera that's always on the brew kettle as it's brewing. And then we'll kind of uh, jump between cameras and whatnot. So it might be a little chaotic, <laughs> but we'll we'll get it all worked out. So. Uh, thank you all for joining this last weekend, too. That was much, much appreciated. Picking up with the Shrine of Amana tonight, we uh, got through Dringlet Castle, took down four bosses last time, and uh, now we're uh, in the Shrine of Amana, which is one of the most beautiful, awful places in the game to this point. And because, you know, slaying mythical creatures is kind of a thing you do in Dark Souls, well, we're going to take down... Uh, this mythical creature tonight, the Hydra. Uh, this one is a collaboration beer with Mortalis Brewing and Drecker Brewing. It's a Sunday sour made with raspberry, mango, dragon fruit, and uh, toasted coconut and cream of coconut. So a nice, uh, nice little tropical treat for us tonight. And uh, Prince Leo, welcome in, dude. How are you doing? Happy Monday. How was your weekend? <laughs> Hail Hydra. Oh no, not not that Hydra, right? Not that Hydra. We're agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. around these parts. <laughs> How's it going, my friend? As soon as I get this thing poured, we'll lift a cheers and we'll get into uh, the very fun game that is known as Dark Souls 2. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you meant. <laughs> I know what you meant. And also, uh, very sad news on the, the passing of one of the great, great voice actors of uh, uh, many of our youth uh, growing up watching Batman. It is very, very sad news of the passing. Is it Kevin Conroy? Uh, am I getting the name right? My gosh. Um... A huge loss. But uh, if you get a chance, you know, go watch some uh, go watch some Batman. Yeah, Kevin was a wonderful, wonderful voice actor and one of the de facto voices of Batman that many of us knew growing up uh, watching the cartoons. So definitely uh, check that out if you get a chance or if you haven't watched it before. Awesome, awesome work from, from him. May he rest in peace. And... Uh, you know, wish the best for his family, too. Hey, Grey Ghost, welcome in, my friend. Welcome in. So, I took a picture. I'm kind of waiting for the foam to die down a little bit. Kind of foamed out on me. But this is the uh, the Hydra uh, Sunday Sour. This is a collaboration uh, between Drecker and Mortalis Brewing. And it's got raspberry... Was it raspberry? Mango... Uh, dragon fruit, toasted coconut, and cream of coconut. So it's going to be a little on the, on the fruitier side of things. Mm. 
trying to avoid the uh, the foam mustache there, but uh, <laughs> uh, I'll be honest. I'll be completely honest with you, Grey Ghost. Uh, I really haven't been following the NFL for the last couple of years. <laughs> Uh, typically, I am a Packers fan, so that is uh, good news that they won. But, uh, you know, it's just something I haven't really paid too much attention to lately. Uh, it's usually, like, postseason when I start to pay attention. But uh, thank you. Uh, regardless of that, thank you, thank you. Um, I am so excited to play more God of War uh, on Wednesday. So it's so tough to only play that one night a week. So tough. So I sunk myself into Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 8 over the weekend. So I got those platinum trophies knocked out. So those games are uh, completely finished for me. I think I still have two uh, trophies left on the DLC for Resident Evil 8. And I still need to do the DLCs of Resident Evil 7. So in total, they're not completely done. But the main games are. Just uh, getting back into it after a couple years basically off, yeah. I think over the pandemic, a lot of people went, meh, football, meh. <laughs> but that's all right. Okay, we'll jump over to a little bit of gameplay here. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> forgot I had the physical copy uh, in of uh, God of War. So let me grab that uh, real quick. Need to swap the game out. Jeez. Pro streamer moment. Pro streamer moment. Don't don't mind me. <laughs> don't mind me. I was totally ready for stream. I was totally ready, I promise. Yeah, pretty much all pro sports, yeah. There we go. There we go. Have you played any of the Souls games? Maybe I asked you this before, Grey Ghost. Uh, 2 is quite interesting. 2 is kind of the... Uh, Ugly Duckling or the Black Sheep or whatever uh, odd man out kind of uh, thing you want to use here. Whatever analogy you got. Um, I will say it gets fun around soul level 70. Is where I started to uh, get fun or get some fun with the game. Uh, our character Lucy is now at level 119. Of course, she is named after uh, the little floof on the right hand of the puppy cam. Yeah, named after you. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl, Lucy. Yeah. Let's see how much further we get into the Shrine of Amana here. We'll let the uh, puppy cam run out before we get too much further in here. But I am wielding two ultra great swords. We are wielding the big sword equivalent of the bong hammer. Be wary of item. Death. <laughs> All right. I love these swords. They are amazing. Yeah, they're good girls. They're good girls. Lucy, she likes to eat the snow, so we did get a fair amount of snow um, over the weekend and today. Lucy likes to eat the snow, but she hates being wet, so she's not the biggest fan, but Roxy loves the snow. Roxy loves the snow. She's our little powder hound. I'm generally a winter person, but I... I'm not ready for it this year. Hey, Micro. Uh, the Dark Souls 2 so far tonight is okay. <laughs> um, but 
it has been an interesting game so far. Have you played all the way through Dark Souls 2? Uh, for those that don't know Micro, and Micro, I'm going to get you added to my auto shoutout um, here soon. But I just met Micro through uh, Beercules. And Micro plays a lot of Souls games uh, from Soft. And uh, she's been working on a Blood Level 4 run of Bloodborne. Very, very challenging run. Uh, for those unfamiliar, it's basically no leveling run. But you can't get a like a soul level 1 in that game. It's blood level 4. Uh, ooh, you're playing some Returnal. How is that going? But definitely go say hello next time. Uh, Micro's live. Uh, very, very fun to watch those challenge runs. Have not my favorite. Yeah, I'd agree with you there. <laughs> I would definitely agree with you there. It is not my favorite either. Oh, yeah. I wanted to try to get my souls here. Nope. 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 Oh, nope. Oh, this is awful. This is awful. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I need to regroup here. I need to regroup. Um, oh, these are awful. This is where I'm regretting the, uh, the big bonk build. <laughs> this is definitely not a strength spot for having a big bonk build. Okay. Can we get those souls? Oh, no, 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 no. No such invasion needs to happen. Hello? Hello? No! Oh, please. Why? <laughs> Wolfman Midnight, good to see you. Um, leave it to Miyazaki to make a beautiful area so tough. Yeah. Uh, from what I understand, though, it was just kind of Miyazaki supervised, and it's like his interns had a heyday. And, hmm, how can we make these people suffer? Uh, I think Miyazaki was busy working on Dark Souls 1 DLC, and then went straight into uh, Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3, so it was just kind of a... The rest of the team was working on it. Good to see everybody tonight. My gosh. <laughs> so good to see you. Uh, let's see if we can get these souls back and actually just not die up here. Uh, the NPC invader system in this game is very, very frustrating. Oh, I didn't even have to look. I know as Lighthawk, dude. You evil, evil man. Thank you for those biddies. But that is straight evil, dude. Oh no. No 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 no. Dodge. Can we just make our way back, please? Please? Oh. <laughs> Lighthawk, uh, you evil dude. Thank you so much for the malicious generosity. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, let's get back from this. Uh, make sure that guy... Yeah. You come to me, dude. None of this outside stuff here. What is going on? Anonymous, anonymous gifter, thank you for the two gifted subs. I'm not sure why my alert didn't go off there, but thank you. Oh, oh, his defense is ridiculous. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh, there goes those souls. This is bad. Enjoy those emotes and <laughs> uh, enjoy the ad reviewing. Uh, Anonymous, thank you so very much. I would shout you out, but I can't. <laughs> um, and I went to Micro and uh, uh, Maceer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, let me take a peek at that. That should have made a sound. I don't know why it didn't. Um, hello alerts, why aren't you working? <laughs> All right, but thank you, Anonymous, seriously. Many, many thanks. Um, you don't ever have to do that, but it's heckin' appreciated. Wimpy, welcome in, dude. Good to see ya. How is your journey with Ragnarok? Um, and I'm gonna ask you the antithesis of the information I want to know. Um, how many hours did you not play this weekend? Because I know that's gonna be less than the hours that you did play. <laughs> And I guess the other question is, did you already finish the game? No, no, no. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, okay. That was suicide, so don't do that again. I might need a shield for this. Dude, can we get some GGs uh, for Wimpy? Congrats on getting through the game, dude. <clears throat> um, spoiler free. Um, just give me a number. Just give me a number rating. what these orange farts do, but uh, <clears throat> I'm just not going to linger in them for too long. Um, yeah, this uh, big strong build is not working too well here. It is not working too well in this uh, shrine, this supposed shrine, this supposed place of worship. This is going to be a rough one tonight. For those just wondering, this death count is going to get a heckin' workout. <laughs> um, not what I expected, 10 out of 10. That's what I love to hear. I love to hear that, dude. And, I mean, even so far, Santa Monica Studios has done an amazing job of, of delivering unexpected... Uh, even with God of War 2018, it was just so good. Anybody else uh, deep into the the Kratos story of Ragnarok? Um, ooh, our helm is at risk. Oh, so it's got... Aha. Uh, uh -huh. So the question is, does repair powder work on my armor? I'm just going to try it anyway. Just going to try it anyway. Oh, 
go. Heal. Come on. That is so unfair. Come on, one more hit. No. Of course he would do that. How about you come fight me like a man, huh? Up here. Up here. Oh, no. Not good. Not good. Come on, dude. Oh no. <laughs> this is awful. This is the worst NPC in the game. Oh, and now one of those dudes shows up. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. There we go. Oh, that feels good. That feels good. Maybe I can get a moment of respite, catch up with chat. <laughs> Uh, my god of uh, love of God of War, you know I will not be super generous. Um, I want God of War to hold. That's true. The moon was made out of spare ribs. Would you eat it? I know I would. And then I'd wash it down with an ice cold Budweiser. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I think I'd uh, probably not eat the moon because of the whole, like, Idle balance and all that stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know it's a reference to something, and I'm totally skipping on my brain on on what the reference is. Visions of chest. Oh, that's not good. Uh, <laughs> I think we mean need more cowbell. The only prescription is more cowboy. Oh, do I have to do that every single time? Please tell me this is not a boss. It's a boss. Oh, this is who was singing the whole time? This giant frog? Oh. Oh, that's frightening. I might have trouble sleeping tonight. Oh, no. Oh, that was bad. Bad. I just panic rolled. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just panic rolling now. That's what we do here. I guess that's all we do on this channel. Okay, that was good damage. Oh, no, we don't want to hug. No, we don't want to play. How did I not die? How did I not die? This is awful. Oh, I didn't dodge. I had a little faith we could do that in the first try, but nope. Nope, nope, nope. Sword, welcome in. Good to see you. Good to see you. How was your weekend? How are you doing? Uh, I would. That's why my friends call me Whiskers. <laughs> why don't you marry it? All right. As long as I don't have to face off against that uh, NPC invader every time, I think I'll be okay. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that you're sick, uh, Sword. Sorry to hear that. 
Um, wishing you the best. Hopefully you uh, get well soon. I'm sorry to hear that. Nope, nope, nope. I'm dead. Nope, I'm not dead. But I'm gonna be. Please no NPC. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, that's a one-time thing. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Ooh, I will get the Bean Boozled in before this next boss. Next try at the boss. Okay. We're in a safe spot, presumably. It was safe in the past. Uh, let's do one of these. One of these little war cries. And find out what our bean is. Okay, it's safety beans, so we're going to do two of these. So to me, the berry blue and toothpaste, always a safety bean. Um, and I got your sword. I'll wait. Wait till the ad is done. And then strawberry, banana, or dead fish. So if I get the safety bean, I always throw it in with another bean. Because I feel like that's, uh, you know... That's just a little bit of a... It's too easy. Too easy. We're playing Dark Souls. We're not playing <laughs> Easy Street here. Uh, sword, your bean combo is berry blue or toothpaste and strawberry banana or dead fish. Cheers. Ah. Uh. It's so bad. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. I would have rather had the toothpaste with the dead fish. Because at least then the mint would try to, like, cover it up. Mm. That's awful. That is so bad. Thank you, as always, for the bean sword. You're always, uh, always giving me the beans. Thanks for the puppy cam as well. Cheers. Let me update my stream beer, too, because uh, I totally forgot to do that before stream tonight. Mm-hmm. What is wrong with me? I'm just forgetting everything. It's it's definitely a Monday. I'll blame Monday. This is the Hydra Chonk. Uh, from Drecker. And Mortalis, but Mortalis I don't think is going to fit. And then uh, it is a sour. And it's tasty, and I like it. And it's all the things good. All right, puppies, can we do this? Can we beat this boss? The first time was an embarrassment. The second time is victory. Huh? Can you can you sound the the rally cry? Yeah, they're not impressed. <laughs> All right, let's go. The dodge timing on this thing is uh, pretty crazy. Wrong button. That's fine. That's fine. Stay close, it looks like he comes out of his... There we go. We're doing good damage here. Come on out. Hey, 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 hey. Come out and play.
please no second phase. Oh, oh, that was bad. That was real bad. go. That feels good. Alright, are we going to celebrate uh, this or what? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> uh, message. Victory. So I missed what items I got from him. I know I got the soul. I guess we got to go back this way. Cry duo. So the song was really cool, and I, I kind of miss the music now. The music was the best thing about the shrine. Looks like I needed to navigate that way. Oh. I see that and I don't like it. Oh, bad, bad. That's a bad wooly. It's a bad wooly. It's not how we're supposed to play around here. Supposed to play with poise and grace. I mean, that's acceptable. What am I saying? <laughs> Since when has uh, grace ever been anything attributed to uh, close to my playstyle? read something there, uh, and it was a weapon, but I didn't quite see what it was. Oh, no. That thing was really seeking, really seeking my demise. Yeah, these mages are completely awful. Oh, lucky hit. I saw him swimming up after me, <laughs> and I got lucky. That was pure luck. If you think that was anything but luck, uh, you're wrong, because that was all I had. All I had was luck. Um, scared of the other side being a drop-off? Ooh, and it's close. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, Micro, if you're still hanging about, do you, uh, do you typically go for, like, a melee class in these games? Do you, uh, typically do, like, strength build, dex build, quality build? What's your, uh, what's your kind of, uh, meat and potatoes, if you will, of, uh, of Dark Souls. I'm typically a dex build. Um, that's what I used for most of uh, Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1. I went big strong build on this one, which is fun, but not my go-to. And then I think I might go for a quality build on Dark Souls 3. Now to find which way to go, because I am heckin' lost here. Oh. Well, that's just a dead body. Oh, go back to the boss room. Okay. Thanks for the hint there, Wimpy. A 
don't want to lose these souls either. I should uh, probably just heal up. Yeet. Yeet. Okay. No, I, I appreciate that, dude. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, let's just try to break this stuff. Uh, don't completely spell it out for me. <laughs> uh, let me uh, struggle a little bit here. Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> just got to look a tiny bit. Just got to use uh, skills of observation. And they, Oh, they told me fine work. Thank you. I feel good about that. Oh, you know what? A bit redundant, but that's fine. Okay, I like that. Alright, I'm not going to read all these. It's a lot of messages. Please tell me there's a bonfire. That's all I ask. Try ranged battle. Bonfire right. Sounds like it's off to the left, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I need a fragrant branch. I think I have one. Nope. Don't get cursed. Don't get... Or, or turn to stone or whatever it might be. Okay, thank goodness. Okay. I think we have uh, a branch. Yep. Heck yes. Hey, Paul Leeson, welcome in. Good to see you. Uh, oh, oh. This guy is not a friend. I want you running to be running around for 20 minutes. Ah, I see. I see. Nice. We almost have uh, 42,000 souls. Not quite. Let's see if we can... Uh, Let's see if we can make it that. I think we might have some souls we can consume. Can we give you guys an, a noise number? Like we did uh, during Final Fantasy on Friday morning. Oh, Leeson, how was your weekend? Uh, nope, not as quite a nice a number, but 42,000. Those are some leveling souls, so we should go take care of that while we got them. I want to be sitting, not running. That That's fair. That is fair. Oh. The Emerald Herald. Give me the levels. I can do two levels, so let's just... Uh, evenly do our endurance and vitality like that. Or should I soak two into uh, vigor? But vigor just gives me health and not a whole lot either. Let's just do that. I do want that equipment load up so I can put some cool armor on. So Lucy's got to look good. Equip anything a little more befitting of a lady. I always enjoyed this helm. That puts us at uh, Ooh, that's cool. This is agony. <laughs> Twisting my intestines with a cement mixer. It could have been worse. You're lucky we were here. Yeah, the ice cream, milk, Pepto, and uh, yeah, all of that saved me after the one chip. Uh, I was not in great shape after the one chip, Paul Leeson. <laughs> I was not in great shape. 
but made it through. I made it through. Uh, for those wondering, I, I did recently do the one chip challenge and I lasted an hour, 10 minutes before eating or drinking anything. But two hours after that, I was on the couch in basically the fetal position, uh, sweating with extreme stomach cramps for about an hour. <laughs> and yeah, I paid the price for glory, Mattis Dog. <laughs> I paid the price. And before we get too much further here, if uh, you're in the full hype mode for Ragnarok and you want to watch Kratos play with himself, Mattis Dog is dressed up all week as the God of War himself, and uh, it's a it's a really good time. So definitely go share some support there and uh, enjoy the awesome cosplay that he's put together. And the face paint looked awesome today, dude. It did. So definitely go say hello to the God of War next time he's live. So that's uh, 8 p.m. UK all week. Um, what is this thing? Okay. It's got a life bar, so I'm going to kill it. Uh-oh. I was sad to have dipped out, uh, but I did not want any spoilers. But, uh, my gosh. Go say hello to that, uh, great-looking dude all week. <laughs> Still have dregs of face paint in my beard. Yep, good luck getting those out. Good luck getting those out, my friend. <laughs> oh, no. That is awful. This is awful. Do I have anything I can throw at him? I do. Oh, jeez. What a jerk. What a jerk. Okay. There we go. No, no, don't throw it at the wall, you idiot. There we go. <laughs> oh, that got a little intense there. <laughs> uh, what kind of beer does Kratos enjoy? Um, well, if it's Mattis Dog, uh, it's probably just going to be uh, as he refers to it, slabs of, uh, of piss. But uh, <laughs> Kratos himself is probably heavy, strong ales. Yeah, anything 9% upward. Probably barrel aged. Probably barrel aged. Oh, the music in this game is so beautiful. Oh, hey. Who are you? And what do you want from us? I want uh, the people around to stop killing me. That is what we are called. My name. Do you mean our name? We know nothing of the outside world. We sing eternally for those who bear death and dark within themselves. We have been okay. here forever. We know nothing of the outside world, and we do not need to. The little ones were born from the great dead one. And the great dead one taught us song. We have sung ever since. To comfort those bound by death and dark. This is what we were taught. So this one, Maddest, it's uh, Hydra Chonk. It's from Drecker and is a collaboration with Mortalis Brewing. 
It's a Sunday sour with raspberry, mango, dragon fruit, toasted coconut, cream of coconut, and it is delicious. It is quite good. Yeah, so from the uh, when it foamed up, uh, some sours will leave some residue like that. <laughs> it's it's tasty. It's uh it's mighty fine. It's a mighty fine brew, sir. You silence that curse of singing. Please accept these as a thank you. Ooh, cool. Divine blessing. Do you see comfort too? Yeah. You poor thing. Take this at the very least. Oh, this cool. Is all that we can do. The little ones were born, and the great dead one taught us. We have sung ever since. This is what we were taught. Okay. Jared, welcome in, my friend. Good to see you. Mattis dog salivating. We got Jared. We got Pa. Wimpy. Everybody else. Good to see you. Need some marshmallows for that nice fire. That's true. Make ourselves some s'mores. Uh oh. Well, here's more fire, which I don't appreciate. I don't like that other noise. I don't like the other noise. Oh my gosh. Nope. This is awful. This is awful. Keep you on second screen as I continue on my quest. Got a war. Dude. Uh, seriously, we'll give you one of these. In the arms of the angels. I know, Pa. I know. Seriously, uh, go say he hello to Mattis Dog this week. He's going to be Kratos all week on his streams, and it's going to be a good time. All the further I got to say. And at the very worst, um, just lurk if you're avoiding spoilies. Uh, there's like cream of coconut or something. Yeah. Yeah, so this one, I got this a long time ago. I still have one more in my fridge too. Um, it's toasted coconut and cream of coconut because uh, most of the chonks uh, on their sour series from Drecker has lactose. This has no lactose in it, so they made up for it with the uh, cream of coconut, which I think is nice. I think sometimes they go a little overboard with the lactose in their sours, and uh, they nailed this one. Oh, hold on. Gosh. Heal, heal, heal. <laughs> and uh, Wimpy did finish the story already, Mattis Doc. Wimpy completed the game over the weekend, or today, was it? Um, not a coconut fan? Oh, man, it's so good, though. You know what? To heck with this guy. I can't handle that. Uh, slap a link. Oh, uh, what you got a link for there? Um... Oh, you just finished it like an hour ago. Time for the plat. Heck yeah, dude. Uh... No! Oh, this is awful. This is so awful. Why would they do this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> this was your TikTok with the uh, the appearance of... Uh, oh, for the cosplay. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if you have an aversion to uh, bare-chested men, 
uh, maybe avoid that stream this week. But if uh, bare-chested men is your thing, it'll be uh, full of it this week uh, on that on the over at that Mattis Dog type channel. Trying to get that it was me Austin clip for oh yep. <laughs> oh it just went download dang. Dang dang dang. Oh, bad. These guys are awful. I might need a, a shield for this. I might need a shield for this. There we go. Just when I thought this game couldn't get any worse. <laughs> it, it just goes and proves me wrong. Just, uh, just goes and proves me wrong. What the? Full on pyromancy over here. Cast something. There we go. I dare you cast something in my face. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Creeping out, keep an eye out for the bants. Dude, so good to see you. Thanks for hanging out late, too. Uh, it is a little late over there for uh, those in the UK, but I appreciate the uh, stopping in, dude. Enjoy the lurk. Enjoy the, uh, the wonderful story. Oh, dang. Uh, he was quick. Out of there, Wooly. This is really quite awful. Okay, goodness. Goodness me. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, can I get those souls now? So this looks like just a fall off a ledge. So I'm not going to do that. Is there really any point in coming down here? Other than just to be murdered. It does not appear so. Just ahead, therefore right. So I'm guessing it means here. I don't trust any of that. Any of that nonsense down there. I know there's got to be something, but uh, I just don't feel like risking it. The little one, and we have this is what we I just seeing if I could uh, do something with the candles. Apparently not. Let's go check out back here. There was a door. Maybe I can get through the door. 
What in the world is that thing? Butterfly of sorts? <laughs> yeah, that's pointless. Okay. Uh, I gotta say, this area is, other than some of the drab stone here, uh, it's been quite beautiful. But overall, it's been quite awful with the enemies. Come on up. I dare you. It's okay. Come on in. Uh, two of your friends did not die in here. They didn't die in here. Uh, they just wanted to join the bonfire crew. That's all. No, 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 no. Um, that's not allowed at the bonfire. No foul gas at the bonfire. Okay. You're gonna do that. You gotta step at least ten feet back. We don't need. Uh, we don't need a bomb. You don't need everybody going up in flames because of your gas near the bonfire. Oh, okay. Well, I was talking with her and she hey, never offered anything. Hey, that's my beer. That's my beer. But you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Wobble Pop, thank you for the raid. Raiders, welcome in. My name is Uncle Wooly. I play Dark Souls content on Monday nights. Wednesdays, we're working on God of War Ragnarok. And Fridays, uh, Final Fantasy IV. Working our way through the Pixel Remasters. But cheers, Raiders. Welcome in. Ooh, you were playing Return to Monkey Island. How is that going, Wobble Pop? How is that going? Uh, I don't know if you can tell by my death count, but I am not doing the best <laughs> at Dark Souls tonight. But we're making progress. We at least got one boss down already. Welcome in, Raiders. So good to see you all. Okay, attack. Alright, good. Uh-oh. There we go. There we go. Welcome in, Raiders. How are you doing? Uh, return is really good so far? That is good. I kind of heard some people were a little on the fence due to the artistic choices, but... Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I only played portions of the original, did not get through all of it. Um, but yeah, uh, Monkey Island's great. So I imagine same creators and everything behind this one should be a lot of fun. Uh, I understand you just got done uh, streaming Wobble Pop, so if you need a raid and run, uh, definitely take care of yourself. Um, get something to drink, get something to eat, but uh, you're always welcome to hang out too. And Raiders, I do have a couple dogs that like to hang out with me while I stream. And they are very sleepy tonight. The one on the left is Roxy. She's a 13-year-old Jack Russell. The one on the right is Lucy. She's a 4-year-old Shih Tzu. And again, they're just uh, infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So uh, in between sightings of them, people put up with my uh, mediocre gameplay and terrible puns. Ooh, it is on Game Pass. Excellent. Uh, really nice scrapbook to catch up on the previous story things. Ooh, that is cool. I might have to do that one off stream. Uh, I just have too many stream games stacked up at the moment, but man. Uh, I definitely need to uh, play that before it leaves Game Pass. Uh, thanks for letting me know that too, by the way, Wobble Pop. Thank you for the knowledge drop. Oh, can we open this door? We dare go inside. Keep moving. Okay, the uh, blood stains kind of scare me. We have illusionary walls. We have illusionary walls. 
No, we don't. Okay. So, elevator it is. Wherever this takes us. Kind of scared, yet also excited. Okay, for sake of time, and the way these things usually end up happening, is I'm going to trigger that so it goes back up. And nothing down there. Okay. Let's see if we can proceed. Ooh, bonfire. Bonfire. Oh, what the heck? Don't you dare explode my bonfires. was not nice, dude. Okay. Can I even get around this thing? Does that burn me if I step on it? No. <laughs> hey! Yeah, it looks like they had some hot Cheetos there, uh, Saint. <laughs> Welcome back. Good to see you. It looks like uh, this this thing here that exploded my bonfire just had a little too much of the hot Cheetos. <laughs> we have. to seeing you back when you come back, uh, Saint. Was not expecting that. Let's light this bonfire, even though it looked like it was already lit. What does this say? Summon sign? I'm not gonna. I'm not doing summons uh, on my first playthroughs. Because I'm a sucker for pain. Hmm. Hey, boys. Uh. What's going what's going on in here? Huh? Uh how about one of you at a time? 
yeah, just one at a time would be nice. One would be nice. There we go. Recharge on the Estus is always uh, pleasant. There we go. There we go. Hey, dude. Dude with the flame. Um. Oh, those are knights? Okay. So I think we can light that. Let's uh, definitely light that thing. All right. We're gonna light this torch. Make it a little less dark in here. Oh. Not lightable. That's fair. Oh! Oh! Yep, was not expecting that. Oh boy. Chonky shields is, uh, oof. Not fun. Hey, there we go. There we go. Oh, yay. More of this magic nonsense. Oh. They can shoot all the way back here. My lord. Yeah, this isn't awful. Oh, and there's no straightforward way up there. Excellent. Nope. Nope. Poisoned. Heal, heal, heal. Can we heal? Jeez. Yeah, this is awful. This place is, uh... Who would have known that the Shrine of Amana in all its beautiful awfulness would give way to the Undead Crypt, which is living up to the name. Halt. I need to remember that quote uh, for DJ wife when she turns on the lights too early in the morning. Halt. Human. Do not produce light. <laughs> Can I talk to you? You seem like an NPC. Okay, I guess not. Or, oh, it was you. Guardian of the crypt. Countless dead rest here in peace, cradled by the comfort of dark. Light only agitates. We have no need for it here. I am a okay. Finisher. We weave death and watch over the dead. This task was granted to me. By the one who gave us the first death. Countless souls rest here. Some of them from ages long ago. Yeah. Some were rich, others poor. Some wise, some dull, but now... They're all just dead. 
Wobble Pop. This one is a collaboration between Drecker and uh, Mortalis. And it is the Hydra Chonk. Here, let me, if I can figure out my right and left here. Uh, so it's got three of the big cat heads on it. And it's a raspberry, mango, dragon fruit, toasted coconut, and cream of coconut uh, sour. And it's uh, it's quite good. It is quite tasty. Did you come for him? The one called Fendrick. You will find him deeper inside. Many castle servants and the like have come to fetch their lord. But they rest here now. Put to death by the king's own guards. Perhaps he's not in the mood for company. Well, I'm definitely after Vendrick. In the past, humans were one with the dark. The former king of light, he feared humans. Feared that they would usher in an age of dark. How queer are you humans? How you go on, never separating truth from fiction. <laughs> This place is welcome to all, provided due reverence is shown. Death is equitable, accepting. We will all one day be welcomed by her embrace. It's true. Tell me what you desire. Show me reverence, and I will lend you my hand. Ooh, gesture. Nice. Um, hey, nothing wrong with good pills. Um, what, uh, what pills was it? Ooh. That seems like a heckin' nice ring there. Ring of Thorns plus one. Effigies. Yeah, we're gonna go with that ring. Uh, let's talk Watch again. Deep. I am a finito. This task was granted countless souls. Some were rich. Other. Okay. I think we've. Uh... Ooh, yes, that is a tasty pills. Oscar Blues makes a wonderful pills. That is a good choice. That is a really good choice. Um, let's see here. Uh, we had the ring of binding. Let's see, that ups our HP, right? Stitch the binding for the thorns. <laughs> oh, now your fridge is empty. Oh, no. Oh, no, that is not good. Uh, pumped up. Let's change the point. <laughs> True. Excuse me, that one snuck up on me. <laughs> that one's fun. That one's fun. Okay, let's uh, use an effigy. And then let's also throw some life gems on our uh, belt here. about this Elizabeth Mushroom. There we go. Hey, Sandy. Good to see you. Welcome in. Doing quite well. Doing quite well. How was your weekend? How was your Monday? And we've got one boss down already tonight, and uh, we're seeing how many we can get through. Uh, yeah, I'm a little, uh, a little uneasy in this, uh, undead crypt. Oh, this is probably a boss, isn't it? 
Try down? I'm not going to try down. Alright, if this is a boss, wish me well. Wish me well. Well, how about this? <laughs> Ooh, rewatching Sherlock. Nice. Uh, I'm guessing I can't ring those bells. I don't really want to ring them. I kind of have to smash through the rocks, it seems. Soul of a hero. Please let these skeletons die. Okay, good. Good, good, good. They're not the constantly respawning skeletons. That is good. Okay, so I need to find my way around this place without ringing these bells, I assume. They just uh, look like the thing I shouldn't be doing. You don't want to disturb the dead. Oh, did I just ring one? Did I just ring one? Hopefully not. Uh-oh. 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 I rung a bell. I rung a bell. <laughs> run, run, run. Oh, I rung another one. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Andy, thank you for the good luck. <laughs> and is that the uh, the Sherlock with uh, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch? And what isn't um, what's his name? The actor that plays uh, Bilbo. Um, I keep forgetting Martin Freeman. Isn't he in that too? Done it again. <laughs> yeah, both wonderful actors. I do I do like both of them. Uh that yeah. Uh ringing these bells is uh death sentence. Oh no, why did you swing that way, Wooly? Why did you swing that way? Um, ironically, I think I've maybe seen maybe one episode. Um, not that I don't enjoy Sherlock, because uh, I do like the, uh, the subject matter. And I do enjoy the character, but I just uh, haven't seen that show. Okay. Nope, bad, bad, bad. That was bad. Oh, that was a big whiff. What? Why did he die? Oh, hello. Yeah, this is a... Uh, this is a precarious place here. I don't like the sounds. Sounds are awful. Please give me a bonfire. Not an invader. Not a nameless usurper. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Keep me entertained for now, uh, since I can't do much. Yeah. So it's still kind of the same uh, diagnosis where you're at, Sandy. Just a few weeks of not using your wrist. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, the sounds in this game, <laughs> it can be a little bit overwhelming. 
Oh, these dudes. I hate these dudes. Do we have any, uh... Nope. I still want power stance. Do we have any fire bombs? Do we have any fire bombs? We do. Fire bombs. What's this thing? Hexing urn? I don't think that's going to do much here. You know what? Let's uh, just lean into the meme. Let's throw some dung pies at him. No more on Wednesday. Okay. Well, I hope uh, that it's not not as bad of a fracture and uh, you get a good diagnosis. But otherwise, uh, hoping the best for you for uh, a quick and healthy and full recovery. Well, that did nothing. Oh, that did something. Okay, one down. One down. No. There we go. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Ooh, uh, let's... Take a peek at this armor that I just got. Yeah, these guys are big. It was uh, Imperior, Imperious armor. Ah, shoot. It's good armor, but it's going to put me over the... It's going to make me chonky roll. Ooh, the Ruin armor. It's a little lighter and better protecting. Ooh la la. Lucy... Uh, can we put some pants on you without you going chonky roll? Some leggings. There we go. There we go. There you go, girl. You don't need to be showing your legs everywhere. I just want to stream and use some of the new things. Um... You said you can play games with the right hand, right? You just can't use your left hand? I mean, there's always getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Uh, could always play that. Okay, is this more of a bell type thing? You know, if you want a way to uh, really pass the time and dis dislike yourself, uh, there's got to be a bonfire somewhere here. Because if that's a boss up there, I do not want to... Uh... I don't want to go into the boss fight with two Estus. Yeah, it's just delightfully challenging. Okay, so that looks like a shortcut that opened up. That's good. Shortcuts are good. But I need bonfire. Give me bonfire. Uh oh. Who who uh who woke those things up? Huh? I didn't hit the bell in here. This guy did? Dude. This guy in his Taco Bell addiction won't stop ringing the dang bell. Oh no, not good. Heal. Heal, heal, heal. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got uh, we got a white hood out of that. That's probably cool, right? 
magic shield. That sounds good. What else is there to gain here? Ooh, life gem and homeward bone. Oh, dude. What the heck? Who's ringing the dang bell? No! Uh, those are good leveling souls too, man. Come on. Did I hit? No, I didn't. There we go. There's death count. This place is very awful. Artsy stream. Oh, uh, you could definitely do that. I think uh, there's more interest in that than you realize. I think. Because uh, art streams are nice, fun, cozy. And you can also uh, get some work done. So it's like a, you know, win-win. Wake up. Grab your keys and put on little makeup. Grab your two shields and do that. Oh, no. No. That's fair. <laughs> um, that's definitely me when I'm... <laughs> trying to learn how to do things in Illustrator or After Effects. <laughs> um, yeah, those are some pretty cool shields. Uh, what about these leggings? Oh, they put me overweight. Dang. Dang. You know, can we do some cooler looking armor here? Without going overweight. Ooh, that one's nice. Oh, way overweight. Uh -huh. Let's do that one. Drop the leggings. Well, we're still over. Okay, so let's change our... Uh... There we go. I guess we're back to... Uh... Yeah. This fancy looking build. Heck with these guys. I just want to get out of here. Here we go. To heck with that area. Alright, that gets us here. Oh, and we do have uh, the shortcut now. This isn't too bad. Uh, with the puppers, going to lurk mode while we finish the Sherlock episode. Thank you for stopping on by. Enjoy the lurk. Always good to see you, Sandy. Can we get some hearts in uh, in chat for Sandy? Enjoy your lurk. So good to see you. Take care. Enjoy the Sherlocks. You know what? Let's just uh, go down here and see what... Uh... Oh, my lord. Why? Does this game do this? It's a full-on gank squad right there. It's a full-on gank squad right there. What the heck? What the heck, man? OK, 
Okay, I take back every nasty thing I said about the Shrine of Amana. Take it back. Shrine of Amana, I'm sorry for everything I said. The uh, ended crypt is far worse. It's far, far worse. Come on. I don't like uh, the movement on these guys. Uh oh. Nice. Good thing I'm big and strong with my strong swords. Hello. I didn't know they had that lightning bolt business. I'm not producing light of any sort. Don't worry. I am not a light bringer. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's uh, try this again. And I just want to ring the neck of whoever starts ringing the bells down here. It's not cool. Ooh, hey. One aggro. Oh, hello. Um... Not one aggro. Bad. Bad. Get out of there. <laughs> hey, Saint. Welcome back. Good to see you. Good to see you. How's it going? Welcome back. Um, I'm not doing good here, Saint. Tail kicked. Oh, I didn't even see you, dude. Did not even see you there. There we go. Oh. Nope, I don't like this. I don't like this. They keep respawning. They keep respawning. I don't like this. Yeah, I guarantee there's something I got to go do first. <laughs> it's uh, going great. Uh, eating cereal because I haven't ate all day. Jeez. Uh, well, besides getting my backside kicked, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> doing pretty good. Glad uh, you're able to get some food. Good to see you. Hopefully you had a good rest of your weekend. Dude. Uh, uh. Yeah, death counter is a lot higher than uh <laughs> than Brewmaster Brewing Sim. Obviously. Obviously, Strefty. Obviously. <laughs> How's it going, dude? Are you uh Still uh, face first into a little bit of uh, God of War Ragnarok? Or have you been able to uh, get away from it for a little bit? Okay. Wake up. 
Grab your keys and put on a little makeup. Come on, dude. Wake up. 20 hours in. Uh, not even sure if I made a dent. <laughs> Excellent. That is good news. I hope it takes me a while, to be honest. Ooh, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. There we go. I hate these guys. They're the worst. They're the worst. Oh wait, I take it back. These guys are the worst. Run, run, run. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Okay. If you thought uh, Demon Souls in Elden Ring were awful, Strefty, uh, Undead Crypt in Dark Souls 2, oof. it's something else. It is something else. Get my souls. No, get the souls, Wooly. Okay. Alright, I think I've been down those ways. I don't think I've been this way, though. Uh oh. Somebody spawned and he's probably gonna go try to ring a bell. I bet. No bells. No bells, dude. No. Well, the heck with that place. We're done with that. <laughs> We're done with that place for a bit, let me tell you. Uh, there's gotta be another bonfire around here somewhere. And there's gotta be stuff we can do to stop these bells from ringing. overhead swing. Oh. Hello, wall. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not good. Not good. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I think. I think. Okay, next bonfire, I'm going to warp to Majula and also the thing betwixt because I need to get rid of some of these petrified somethings and also the uh, stones that I have. Um, I think it's a bit longer than Dark Souls 1. I don't know if you've played uh, any of the Souls games at all, Saint. Uh, but there's definitely more bosses in this one. I think Dark Souls 1 took me a while, um, just because I wasn't as familiar with the mechanics. But I really, really enjoyed Dark Souls 1. And that's weird for somebody to say, I know. But, uh, ooh, bonfire, heck yes, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Uh, definitely seen them, and no, they are no joke. That is true. <laughs> but they're fun. They're fun in their own way, right? Like, once you really get a build that starts to click for you and you start to uh, make some good progress, it feels really good. It's just getting to that point can have a whole lot of not good. <laughs> and that's the part that kind of stinks. So can we climb a ladder with this? Because there's a torch up there that needs lit. Climb up. Is 
Isn't there something special for having lit all the torches and the things betwixt? Uh, all right, we got some cool stuff we need to drop off here. Like. We're going to leave. So we got a lot of stuff to pick up here. <laughs> Rooms and water. Faint stone. Magic stone, faint stone, okay. Just curious if I can uh, leave like nine of them and they'll just give me nine separate items. Oh, <laughs> I guess it's one at a time. That's a pain. Oh, nope. I didn't mean to do that. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, Quantum. Welcome in. <laughs> uh, I am at the Undead Crypt. I did take down the Demon of Song at the beginning of stream. And I'm really uh, having fun <laughs> with the Undead Crypt so far. I say fun as it puts the uh, it puts the F and the U in fun. <laughs> Ooh, tight night chunk. Rooms and water. Tight night. Divine blessing. Um. So they're like birds, basically, that are talking, and they basically want you to leave stuff in their in their nest uh, to exchange for uh, items. It's kind of like a trading system in this game. And there's only certain items you can leave for them. Yeah. I wish you could see the birds. Because the <laughs> the voices are fun. Ooh, Demon's Great Hammer. Is that the one I was uh, supposed to get, Wimpy? That you were telling me was a pretty good weapon. Channeler's Trident and White Ring. Yeah, there's uh, there's all the ones I've done so far. For sure have had them that I've noticed. But uh, there's one in all of them? Nice. Uh, okay, so Demon's Great Hammer. But would I have even had the stats to use it right away anyway, Wimpy? Oh, did I... Oh, I still don't have the stats now. Great hammer made of unknown materials. Perhaps it's stone or even wood. The origins of its name are unclear. Its tremendous weight suggests that it was never intended for humans. Perhaps it was an offering to the demons that appear in legend. All except for Demon Souls, Bloodborne, and Sekiro. There is one in uh, Demon Souls, by the way. That is uh, for sure. There is a uh, a bird trader in that one. Uh, wait a second. I need to dual wield. Dang! Big chonky bonk stick. Uh, what's this thing output for damage? I wonder. What's it got for uh, for stats? Ooh, three hundred. I think our other was better though, right? Four hundred. 
uh, plus 170. Yeah, we're still, we still had better damage output here. Oh, no, that's fine. Uh, I could see why they wouldn't have that in uh, in Bloodborne and, and Sekiro. I just think they're different enough. Let's go back to Majula. Maybe we can uh, consume some souls and uh, do a little bit of leveling up before we head back into the uh, the unknown. Or the undead, rather. The unknown of the undead. Yeah, let's uh, do some... Consuming of souls. Here we go. Not bad. Holy cow. I guess we have some souls to level with. Until hope. Um, let us... I think I'm going to throw a little bit more in strength. How much do we got here? I'll throw one into uh, to Vigor. Round it out to even soul level 125. Was lurking during a bit of your last stream, or last stream I was able to catch Quantum, and it looked like you're up against a big dragon, but I didn't want <laughs> any spoilers, so I kind of lurked. Uh, how has your uh, pyromancy run been going? Okay. So we're going to go out here and try not to die. Oh, hey. Oh, that was a bad idea. How did that not kill him? Ooh, effigy. Nice. Oh, you stupid skeleton. You stupid, stupid skeleton. <laughs> that one was on me. I was not paying attention there. Okay, so I can bust those statues, and I assume that it keeps them from coming out. All right, that's just okay. Nope, not what I wanted. There we go. Aha. I think I've uh, figured out what makes the level tick. So let's go over here then. So we have to destroy the statues in here before we can basically proceed. I just don't know. Hey! That. Hey! That's my beer. That's my beer. But you're more than welcome to grab a pint and hang out. Revo, how's it going? How is it going, my friend? Ooh, Final Fantasy XIV Online. Uh, how is that going for you? And I'm sorry my character is just doing this uh, awkward stare at all the raiders. I am so sorry for that. <laughs> right in the raiders' faces. My gosh, I am sorry. <laughs> but welcome in, raiders. My name is Uncle Wooly. I play Dark Souls 2 on Monday nights, Wednesdays. We started God of War Ragnarok last week. And Fridays on Final Fantasy IV. Uh, with Final Fantasy Friday. How is uh, 14 treating you, Revo? I've never played it. I am not a big MMO player, but I've heard really, really good things about 14. Uh, how was your stream? How's it going? 
Thank you for the raid. Cheers, everybody. Just a short one. Hey, that's good. Short but sweet is always nice. Um, also, you just got done streaming, so if you do need to raid and run, I completely understand. Um, but if you got time to hang out, you're always welcome here. Good to see you. It's been a little while. Ooh, hey. Try attacking. Oh. Oh, so he was the one ringing the bells. Aha. So it's not destroying the things, it's destroying the bell ringers. That's what's going on here. That's what we're up against in this uh, this level. My gosh. <laughs> These things remind me of the, the ring wraiths from uh, Lord of the Rings. So they are a little bit unnerving. Ooh, sweet. Oh no, we're gonna die. Somebody's ringing this stupid bell again. Nope, not good. Not good. Not doing story things as I'm up to scratch on it, but uh, the story is so good. Everything starts off slow. As you move past base game and move into expansions, the game really starts to pick up. Ooh. Uh, base story lacks a bit. And that's kind of fine, I think, for me, if I were to get into something like that, you know. The base game gives you a good... Uh, good footing into the world and then the rest of it uh, expands. Would be pretty cool. Try attacking. Can we just bust this bell all together? Stop it with the ringing. Where these zombie guys are addicted to Taco Bell. Okay. And I'll probably go back out here. It'll start ringing again for whatever reason. Nope. <laughs> Shame. Shame. I know, Strufty. Shame. Thank you for the bell. Thank you for the bell. Uh, lacking a little on the base makes each expansion you play uh, better and better. Yeah, that's what I would imagine. So that's cool. Um, I quite <laughs> haven't had the courage to sink time into it because I just know it's going to be one of those things that'll just take over my life. But I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, when it comes to Final Fantasy, what other uh, what other Final Fantasies have you played, Revo? And likewise for the Raiders too. I'm getting my tail just handed to me here. Dude, get wrecked. All right, uh, no, it's one at a time. Nope, nope. Oh, that was lucky. That was lucky. Get out of there. Okay. Okay. Alright. 
Now we're one on one. Now we're one on one. There we go. I played them all. Ooh. So which Final Fantasy was your first Revo? And which one is your favorite out of the series, if you could pick one? Oh, this is just a, a Dragon Rider as a uh, normal mob. That is wonderful. Okay, dude. This is not fair. Yeah, I don't like this area at all. This undead crypt can uh, just go away. Ooh, this one's strong too. My gosh. <laughs> come on. Come on, dude. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I got a little too comfortable. Okay, life gem. <laughs> oh, no. Bad. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. Let me just crunch another one. Nope. I got I got a little complacent here. This is not good. Okay. Oh buddy. Three on the PS1, nice. I just finished three recently. And I gotta say, I really enjoyed the uh, the Pixel Remaster. I never played the original one through six back when. Uh, so three was a, three was a treat. I, I liked the job system of three was pretty cool. Uh, but as such, it kind of left the main characters feeling a little hollow. So most of the story is kind of made up by the NPCs, but they were really cool NPCs, too. Except for uh, Desh. We won't talk about Desh. We won't talk about Desh around here. We're not a fan of him. <laughs> All right. If this is a boss, uh, you know, for the content, let's do it. So he's got the big bonk stick. Uh, Velstat, the Royal Aegis, or Aegis. Ooh, okay. Oh, no. Not good, not good. I need you to clear these pillars out. That would be nice. Okay. Oh, dang. Not good. Ooh, lucky. Lucky, lucky. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no.
Ooh, I got lucky there. Okay. Can you do the hammer slam again? Oh, no, not that hammer slam. Not that one. Nope. Okay. Shoot. Oh, that was close. Just a couple hits away. Uh, favorite things to do in video games is character customization. So going off of that, uh, I guess I'd go with 14. That's cool. That is cool. Do you have a favorite villain, though? Ooh. Drop the... Uh... What, what is your uh, favorite villain? Oh, uh, it was a close one. It was a close one. <laughs> uh, that one's rough. Oh, once these are broken, they're broken for good. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. Man, I hate the skeletons. I really do hate the skeletons. Where do these guys keep... Are these dwarves? Because they keep popping out of holes in the ground. Ah... Uh, yeah, I am excited to play six. I never played six uh, back when. So I'm very, very excited for six. So I think what I'm going to do, Revo, uh, because I am also a huge, huge Final Fantasy VII fan, is that I'm going to, uh, after four, take a break and play Crisis Core and then move on to five and six um, before I go any further through the series. But I'm very, very looking forward to six. Uh, that is the plan <laughs> as of now, Quantum. The only villain to have extra, oh, excuse me, only villain to have ever actually accomplished his goals. Um, well, please, no spoilers, but that doesn't seem like too much of a spoiler there. Ah, uh, dang, that was bad. Should not have rung that, should not have rung that. Oh, and there's another dude here. Ooh, hello. Somehow I killed him without ringing the bell. Wow. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, somehow I managed to avoid spoilers all these years. Uh, but I'm very much looking forward to it. Heard so many good things about Six. Hey, Highbury. Welcome in. Good to see you. We're, uh... Try not to lose too many times here tonight, but it's uh, it's been a little interesting. <laughs> it's been a little precarious, uh, but I, as of right now, Quantum, I do plan on doing all bosses, and that does include the DLCs, and I've heard uh, there's some DLC bosses that can be quite rough, so I'm not looking forward to that. Stamina regen, please. Oh, dang. I was hoping to bait a second attack, uh, like a twin attack from these two. Okay, come on, dude. There we go. There we go. Oh, and that dragon rider was a one-time spawn. Thank you. Oh, 
that's just groovy. I like that a lot. <laughs> I was not going to be a fan of having to fight that dragon rider every time. All right, here we go. Round two. Life. Welcome in. Welcome in. This is round two with uh, Velstat. The royal pain in the Aegis. <laughs> oh, not good. Not good. Too early. Wow, he baited me there big time. Big time. Oh, not good. Not good. <laughs> Thanks for the confetti pizza. <laughs> the confetti pizza? I've never had one of those. <laughs> A piece of pizza. Welcome in. Oh, no. No. Here we go. Now is it a good time to heal? Oh. We need stamina again. Ooh, that was close. Okay, so he gets slower, which is nice. But he also gets tankier. All right, last heal, I think. Oh, we got life gems. Oh, dang. Okay. <laughs> Pizza, Pita, how, how's it going? Good to see you. Cheers. Uh, also, Revo, thank you for the lurk. Oh, that's all right, little Hank. It doesn't matter if you have the beard on the outside, as long as you got the beard on the inside. That's right. On the inside. In the arms of DJ Wife, thank you. I needed that uh, bit of Sarah McLaughlin in my ear. Uh, this has been emotionally damaging so far today. <laughs> First the Shrine of Amana, and now the Undead Crypt uh, is even worse. Uh, no, don't ring that bell. There we go. There we go. No bell ringing for you, mister. No bell ringing for you. Oh, hey. No. No bell for you either. No. No, 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 no. No. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> yeah, we're going for the big strong uh, build here. Lucy's got her big swords going. She's ready. <laughs> yeah, so he rings that, and I don't know if you can see these dudes further up. Uh, but they look like the ring wraiths from uh, Lord of the Rings, and they're just as terrifying. I see your fiery bean boozled. Uh, that's fair. I mean, it's still spicy. But compared to the, uh, the Pocky one chip, it's just like a whole different level. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like you know a not as terrible spice but it's still spicy like the reaper beans are bad welcome in everybody good to see you all how was your weekend pita pizza dj wife highbury Beeper beans. Did somebody redeem a bean? Did I miss a bean? Okay. No, we're good. Yeah, you die. And you dudes. Can you just attack at the same time so I can kill you both? Okay. One, one most of the way down? Okay. There we go. You... 
Come on, let's go. Christmas shopping and judging speech and drama. Awesome. I love speech and drama. I loved, loved it in high school. Oh, and we do get a bean. Speak of the bean, get a bean. Uh, oh, and a fiery... Okay, all right. I see what you're doing here. I see what you're doing here. Uh, still recovering. Uh, cortisone shot in your shoulder. Dang, dude. Uh, take care of yourself. Uh, can we get some hearts in chat for Highbury, please? Uh, get well soon, friend. Uh, it hurts like heck all the time. Uh, sure, it'll improve. Don't know to what extent. Uh, I think it should be ready for light rehab. Nice. Uh, let me get caught up here. Uh, Fiery Five, I didn't notice that. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, you gave me a spicy one, and Highbury gave me a regular one. So we're going to do a combo bean. We're going to do a combo bean. Okay, I think I'm caught up here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, jalapeno. Not bad. But uh, the question is, is what is it going to mix with? What is that jalapeno going to mix with? Oh, what's it going to mix with? No. Come on, Willie. Just grab the right bean. So it came in a tin, this one, and it's got individually sealed beans, little bean packages. Uh, and I'm not going to open too many of them because I want them to stay less stale. Um, yeah, I do still DJ, um, uh, PETA. I still do do those things. I still do the do the, the things. Okay. Yeah, you can't build up a tolerance for gross. Um, out of that bean, I need to order a new box of these ones. All right. It's the last one of pomegranate and old bandage. So it's going to be either jalapeno pomegranate, which actually could be really good. Or it's going to be jalapeno old bandage, which is a spicy bit of gross. Here you go. Uh, pizza, Highbury, double, double bean supreme. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh. Mm. Mm. You say you're sorry, but I don't think you're that sorry, Hyber. Okay. This is agony. It's like somebody's twisting my intestines with a cement mixer. It could have been worse. You're lucky we were here. Yeah, except I don't have any of those with me right now. <laughs> I don't have any ice cream. I don't have any Pepto or milk or probiotic. I guess I just have beer. In the arms of the angel. Paragamer, welcome in. Good to see you. Oh, goodness. After that uh, bit of pain, I'll give you all something fun to look at. Puppy dogs. They got me good, doggos. They got me good. I'm going to need just a moment to uh, recover before we go into this boss battle, I think. I just want to stare upon your cuteness and have it heal me. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the worst bean combo ever, though. I will say the worst bean combo ever was the Carolina Reaper and Liver and Onions. That combo is uh, very unholy. Uh, but the one I had then, uh, Paragamer, was Jalapeno and Old Bandage. <laughs> so it was gross, but it wasn't near as bad as the Carolina Reaper and Liver and Onions. That one is far worse. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for the beans, though. Thank you for the beans. Oh, okay. 
yeah, jalapeno and old bandage. Um, this one does have rotten egg. To me, the rotten egg one is just a bad bean all around because it, and I know sword, if you're still hanging out, I'm sorry, but the, uh, the artificial popcorn flavor is awful. So to me, that's the always bad bean, and the always good bean is the berry blue and toothpaste, because either way it's good. Unless you pair it with uh, dead fish like I did earlier, which wasn't good. <laughs> All right. Beans out of the way. Let's get uh, Velstat out of the way. I want my souls. You big meanie. Here we go. We've recovered. Ooh. He nearly got me there. Can't tell if he's going to swing or not. Oh, bad. That was bad. I got greedy. I got greedy. I got greedy. Heal. Not good. Not good. Okay. He's buffed out. Super buff. Oh, no. I've never seen him do this. Twice in a row, basically. Nope. Get back. Get back. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. All right. Stamina. Give me stamina. I'll catch up on chat soon. <laughs> nope. Oh, bad. Bad, really bad. Bad Wooly Bad. Ooh. That was, uh... Oh, no. Not good either. Less than favorable. Events have transpired. That was close. Oh, no. No. Oh. That close. That close. Oh. That was so close. <laughs> um, yeah, and the dead fish thing. It should be like rotten fish or something like that. But yeah, they still call it dead fish, which is very misleading because... All edible fish is dead. <laughs> uh, let me get caught up here. Just want to get to someplace safe. Someplace safe. Thank you for the clip, uh, pizza. The double bean supreme. Thank you for the clip. Um, yeah. Okay, we're caught up. Oh, that was so close. As the jello brain, either way, uh... Oh, it's Monday. You're you're fine, Para. You are absolutely just fine today. It's Monday. We can blame it on that. All good here. That's what I do. When in doubt, just blame the Monday. And you're set. Just like that last little death. Um, that's just a Monday thing. I wouldn't worry about that too much. Oh no, dude. You weren't supposed to ring that bell. You're just supposed to hit me, and that's it. Okay, that dude there. And then there's one that pops up here, right? Oh, there he is. There he is. 
Hey, Drox, welcome in. <laughs> What's up? Hello. Good to see you. Oh, I got a full case of them, man. I tell you. My, my case of those Mondays, mighty full. <laughs> mighty mega full. Mighty mega Monday full. Trox, how are you doing? How was your weekend? Good to see you. When in doubt, pinky out. Oh, sorry. Sorry, pizza. Proper etiquette here. There we go. Doing good. Uh, death count, not too great tonight so far, but uh, otherwise doing good. I've gotten bean boozled a couple times as well. They boozled me with all those beans. But hey. Things could be worse. <laughs> uh, remodeling living room still. Uh, no college classes Monday. Uh, but tomorrow I have only one class. Nice. Nice. And uh, thank you for the holy sip. Let's get some hydration in here. Let's get some hydration up in here. Thank you for that. Also, sword. More beans. We might run out of beans tonight. I don't know if I have a limit on beans during a stream. To be honest, I think I set a cooldown, and I think that's it. All right, peach or barf? Peach or barf? Get you some full screen bean. Full screen bean sword. Thank you. <laughs> uh. Uh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. And it always gets stuck in my teeth, too. Ah, thanks for the bean sword. Oh, peach would have been great. Uh, oof. The barf, uh, not so much. Die, dude, die. There we go. Come on, come on. Attack me, bro. Come on. Come on. Oh, there's that summon sign, and that is so tempting, too. But our first run, trying not to summon anything. <laughs> to become the god of beans. I don't know if I want to be that, to be honest. I mean, I'm full of beans enough as it is. Bothers me the most is that someone had to eat barf to get the flavor right. Yeah, that's true. Or maybe they're just very imaginative. They're like, you know what? This is what we think it tastes like. And, you know, they nailed it either way. I feel bad for the quality testers, that's for sure. Ten at once? Um, uh, I don't know there, PETA. <laughs> I don't know about that. That sounds awful. Come on, just knock the pillars down. Come on, Bellstat, do it. Do the thing. Here we go. How about this one? There we go. That's a good hit. Oh no, that was a bad hit. I looked away at chat for one second and, uh,. Oh, he's baiting. He's baiting those out of me big time. There we go. Let's heal. Let's heal. There we go. There we go. Heal, heal. Okay, this is the run. This is the run. is a run. The 
time to heal. That's fine. Okay, that was, uh, I may have got too greedy there. Nope, we're fine. Oh. Can't, uh, endure too many of those at once. Bad, bad timing, bad timing. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, he's trying to bait me with some of those attacks. Oh, come on. How did I dodge into that? Nope, nope. Get out of there, Wooly. Come on now. Oh, one more hit. Yes! Yes! Oh, royal pain in the ages is what... Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. We need to... Uh, we need to celebrate this. Uh, no, no, no. Emote. Emote. Where is it? Where is it at? Uh, work on Let's go. <laughs> Thank you for the GGs. Thank you for the GGs. And very much so, uh, Paragamer. The royal pain in the Aegis. <laughs> Don't look at chat. Uh, but there is somewhat of a baseline before it's customized by specific dietary influences. <laughs> uh, doesn't barf taste different to everyone? That's true. Yeah, that is true. Uh, problem I have is the idea that somebody... Okay. Keep tasting the bean until they got it. Ah, oh, yeah. Oof. Oof. Okay, I think we're caught up. Theoretical situation. Totally. All right. If I missed anybody, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but thank you. Thank you for the beans. Thank you for the GGs. I've totally forgotten which way I came from. I think it was that way. Let's go this way. Well, inadvertently, right? Like, it's not like he ate the thing, but, uh... Visions of Despair. Um, do I have to fight him? Oh, is this Vendrick? Can I talk to him, or, uh... Okay. Got the King's Ring. Oh, we can examine, right? Alas, nothing happened. Oh, do we need to put the king's ring on? We need to put on the ring of said king. Let's put on the ring of the king. Uh, where is it? Opens a king's gate. A soul is much like a curse, and those with strong souls must bear within themselves an even stronger curse. Vendrick, king of Dringluk, used a powerful soul to keep the curse at bay. In the end, he sought the flame that began it all. Wear this ring to open the king's gate. Okay. So we can't do anything there. I do not want to fight him yet. Um, so we're not going to do that. Ooh, hey. The Emerald uh, Herald. This ring is the symbol of the king. Use it to gain passage through the king's gate. And venture to the far east. Bearer of the curse. If you are to be the next monarch. What if I don't want to be the monarch, then though? one day you will walk through his grounds. Without really knowing why. Okay. So there's a number of... King's Gates that we can get through. And the first one I'm thinking of... Um, let's see here. Let's use a Homeward Bone and get back to the bonfire. 86,000 souls? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. We can level up quite a bit. 
with that. Let's travel to Majula first, do our leveling, and then see where... I know there's a Soul's Gate or a King's Gate in a couple places. I'm just trying to think of uh, one of them in particular. There. All right. Let's level up before we lose all these souls again. Another strength. Here we go. Just gonna level evenly here. Kind of bugs me we're at 129 though. Kind of want to get to that even number, but uh, that's fine. Okay. Let's. Um, I'm trying to think of where that one. Was it after this one? I know there was one close to this area, close to the Forest of the Giants. I just couldn't remember where. Let's see if I can find it. You know what? No, it's not up that way. I think it's just down here. Yep, I remembered now. <laughs> I remembered. <laughs> Prince Leo. Good to see you again. Welcome back. Welcome back. Lots of work. Dang, dude. Here is the one king's door. So, from what I've heard, you only need uh, it equipped to, to open it. And then you don't need it after that. Ooh, bonfire. Nice. Okay, what's ahead here? Dude, Paragamer, uh, thank you for those biddies. For the woolly one. I appreciate that. Thank you so very much. And how's the uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Valhalla treating you? I'd get a backache from carrying one of those swords, but two. But two. Okay, there's a giant there. That's pretty cool. Well, Lucy's a big, strong uh, girl, so she she has the capability of, of carrying two of these big, ultra great swords. Let's see here. Just don't want to jump down there because I feel like, you know, there's stuff down there. <laughs> like enemies and, and that kind of thing. What the heck with it? There we go. No. Just, uh, taste my steel, please. There we go. Oh, this looks, uh, oh, wow. Okay. Open. Go, 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 go. <laughs> uh, this one we can hit. Okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Uh, ooh, fire longsword. Should take a look at that. Uh, it's going better now with the actual assassin's blade. Uh, hard to believe I slept on the game for so long. Uh, I will tell you this. I have not played a single uh, Assassin's Creed outside of the first one. So if if you were sleeping, uh, <laughs> I was at perpetual rest. OK. 
Hey dudes, why with the murder groups here, huh? Oh no. I've just killed somebody's uh, statu statued body there. Uh, that's my bad. That's that's my bad. Okay, let's see what this fire longsword is all about. Key to the embedded. Ooh, um, we need that. So I need to take that to uh, Dringwick uh, Castle as well. Didn't realize I got that. Where is this weapon at? Uh, dual wielding uh, <laughs> Zweinhander's the uh, mark of a true Jim Bro. <laughs> AJ! Dude. Dude. Thank you so heckin' much. Can we get some hearts in chat for AJ, please? Uh, six months, dude. Thank you so heckin' much. How was it going? How uh, how far did you get? Did you beat Resident Evil tonight, AJ? And also, his sister got married this last weekend, so uh, give some extra hearts for that, of course. Oh, you did beat it. Excellent. Uh, what ending did you get? I'm trying to find this fire longsword, unless it's a pyromancy thing. GG's, dude. Uh, oh, there. Fire Longsword. Oh, that's uh, very underleveled. <laughs> oh, not yet. I did get to the lab, so... Ooh, nice. Dude. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, many thanks, my friend. Many, many thanks. We took down two bosses tonight so far. We got the Demon of Song and the uh, Velstat, uh, the Royal Pain in the Aegis. So I'm not convinced that Dark Souls isn't a description of the player's soul after beating the game. That's fair. That is a fair assessment, Paragamer, and you wouldn't be uh, too, ar too far off by saying that. You wouldn't be too far off by saying that. Oh no, that was not a good fall. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, you come back from war and you're never the same. <laughs> Except uh, you never left the house. So it makes it uh, even more saddened at hollow existence. So, you know, Dark Souls players tend to go hollow themselves. What is this? This is just crazy level design. <laughs> From soft, what are you doing here? This is just so weird. Do I have to jump? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, and I total whiff. <laughs> Excellent. There we go. Two for one. Two for one. Yeah. Well, uh, Lucy is a, a bit of a chonky girl. Yeah, we named our character Lucy after the dog Lucy. She's a bit of a chonk. And that's okay. And that is a-okay. Uh-oh. Is someone behind me? Oh! <laughs> I thought I saw him, but it still scared me. It still scared me. Sorry for yelling. <laughs> I think this is a spot I've already been to before. So anybody quantum wimpy um, without giving me any spoilers, is there an optional boss in this area? Um after having gotten through the king's door. Because 
I know this stuff is uh, early game stuff that I ran into. Plays a female character in these games. Uh, for some reason, Fallout and Elder Scrolls too. Hey. Female characters are pretty, uh, pretty dang cool. For these ones, we named them after Roxy in Dark Souls 1 and Lucy in Dark Souls 2. So I am going to put up a redeem soon. And it'll be a little bit high because we'll be naming this character after uh, that for the entire playthrough of Dark Souls 3. But if somebody's got a pet or a family pet or something that they want to name my character after in Dark Souls 3, uh, that's what we're going to do. I like a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. Heck yeah. I mean, it's just kind of channeling that uh, Ripley from Alien uh, vibe, you know? Sigourney Weaver was such a bad in that movie. All right. So our other... I really don't feel like I gained anything from that King's Door unless... You know what? Let's go check out another one that I know we can get to. And that is... I'm trying to think of where that's at. That would be um, this this area, the Shaded Woods. Here we go. That's true. That's true. Uh, she's awesome in every movie she's been in. Uh, is it this way? Yes, it's this way. I remember, because of these things. They run from you... And then they surprise you around the corner with their giant friend. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, I'm going to get hit. I know I'm going to get hit. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. I, I hate these guys. Even later in the game, they are just brutal. Come on, fall over. Fall over for me, big guy. There we go. He didn't even drop anything. Unbelievable, man. Any of those things chasing me? Nope. Okay. Yep. Here's our other king's door. Open. Sesame. And I know there's another optional boss I need to take care of at Huntsman's Cops. Um, so I would like to take care of that tonight, too. Uh, oh, yes. Galaxy Quest. Um, and also the various celebrity personas at a convention. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Aldi is keep. Ooh. What have we here? Oh, I hate those monsters. Not a fan of that. One bit. No, 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 no. Not good. Okay. We're fine. Uh, I forgot how much uh, crowd clearing abilities these swords have. Back in the forest before you fought the skeleton lords? Um, yeah. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. I didn't look up anything further than that there was a boss there. Um, is all I 
Oh, no, a mimic. Dang it. Stupid. Of course, the one I don't smack. It smacks back. Ugh. Not like this. Not like this. If you don't smack, it smacks back. Alright, we're not gonna fight the, uh, the big guy this time. I'm just gonna say no. Ooh. You know what? That's okay. The damage I'm uh, just willing to handle there. Really, it takes that long to open every time? Lord. Open up. Mimics and stinky dogs. Uh, I'm starting to think Aldia's keep isn't. Uh, Aldia wasn't keeping uh, anything cool in here. No! Okay. Not too bad. I don't know if those are dogs or what they are. But, uh, sure looks stinky. Okay. Souls. There we go. Alright, Mimic. Round two. Oh, I could have hit it again, I think. Oh, they're so freaky in this game. Malform Skull and Dark Mask. Do you see what this Dark Mask looks like? Um, ooh. It's less armor, but man, let's check this thing out. Oh, that is sweet. I know this game came out first, but it's given me... Uh, like Higgs from uh, Death Stranding vibes, and I'm totally here for it. Hey, look, a bonfire. Yeah, look at that. That is awesome. Alright, up the stairs we go. Life gem. Thank you. Ooh, hey. Ooh, monster house vibes, yeah. The uh the mimic chest. Those things are wicked in this game, man. Wait a second. Did we just walk into Bloodborne? Is this Bloodborne right now? Mira? You're about to get your tail kicked. There we go. <laughs> Blood Bjorn. Yes. I was wondering what was happening there when, uh... The fog went over the uh, entrance there. Let's just not upset the apple cart. Just don't want to do that. Off to bed. Enjoy your sleeps. Pizza, pita, good to see you both. Have a wonderful night. So good to see both of you. And, uh, yeah, I, I won't give you a kiss goodnight, but here's a big kiss from the uh, dragons. Dragon bones here.
Dragon wishes you a very pleasant sleep. Can we get some hearts in chat for Pita and Pizza? Thanks for the cozy stream. Well, I I wouldn't exactly call it cozy tonight. It was a little hectic with the, the beans and the bosses, but uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for joining, as always. Take care. Have a wonderful night. All the hearts in chat for Pizza and Pita. Our wonderful friends. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, dude. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Higgs and uh, calling him Troy Baker is a favorite pastime of mine. Oh, man. Uh, did you enjoy Death Stranding, um, Para? Because I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And I know it's a very polarizing game. It's not that way for everybody that plays it, but I really, really enjoyed it. I have no idea what that does, but I'm going to pull it anyway. Uh, oh, hey. NPC? NPC? Hmm. I hope you appreciate the ramifications. Yeah, sure. Well, no matter. What's done is done. Besides, I've found myself a new mark. <laughs> Am I your new mark? I'll spend some time traveling the lands. Slowly tracking my new mark. I'll spend some time traveling. Slowly track. Um, Death Stranding, Prince Leo, uh, is the game we are uh, referencing. Uh, super chill experience, unless you're running from BTs, yes. And the the very cinematic way that music was weaved in and out of the gameplay, uh, very well done. I really loved it. It was uh, a game of Kojima being Kojima, and it was uh, fantastic. And it was all the better for it. What is happening back here? Oh, that's cool. That's heckin' cool. It's like the uh, enemies from the looking glass night. That is so cool. I really dig that a lot. That's a really cool effect. There we go. Yeah, it was the first uh, game I really introduced uh, DJ Wife to, uh, where she kind of uh, backseated for most of the story. And uh, she really enjoyed it, which, I mean, I was very impressed for her to be along for the ride on such a wild uh, Kojima game and, and to like it as much as she did. Um, I loved it. I loved it a lot. Yeah. Right. And and these games in the Dark Souls games do uh do very similar in that there's a lot of storytelling done through reading and uh exploration. So I, I understand that's not everybody's uh everybody's jam, but uh oh that's good. Oh wonderful. So that means he's gonna wanna fight. Yep. Oh, I could have got some cheap shots in. Come on. Oh, are you going to do that kind of... S nope. 
Not good. Yeah, definitely need to heal. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. It's not too bad to get back up there. We're nice and close. We're nice and close. Ugh, one of the worst enemies in the game, I think. Uh, there's lots of bad enemies based on just being annoying. But these ones are just sponges. And even late into the game, they are still just massive sponges. VR version of Death Stranding in the future. Um, <laughs> employee training, yep. That would be cool. So the one thing I really loved was the uh, basically the cooperative nature about the whole thing. Is how it built up. Um, you know, you could leave things for other people to use, but they had to have at least got to a connecting hub to get those items in their game. It was so cool um, because it made you it made you get to that spot in your own game before you could get all that help. So you still had your struggle in each uh, section. Very well done. I loved how they uh, pulled that off. Yeah, let's just uh, not get revenge for now. Oh, hello. Um, feel like one of these is going to be necessary. booty. Gain some stamina. Smack the booty. Oh, this one's not too bad. Just intimidating due to the size. Oh, you can use arrows, spears, um, shields. You can use all kinds of stuff. Uh, I'm just running a big strong build right now, Saint. So that's uh, hence the big swords. But there's a lot of flexibility in what weapons you can use. Hey, Spider Man, welcome in, dude. How's it going? How uh, how's Elden Ring? Were you streaming earlier tonight? If so, uh, how did the Elden Rings go? Oh. Was that... Were they grabbed by something? Oh, no. Okay, something dropped on them. Oh, I do not like this place. Hey, Chicky Mugs, welcome in. Rage quit so hard like 20 minutes ago. Forgot to... Oh, no, dude. That is rough. It is rough, my friend. Can we get some Fs in chat for uh, spider map, please? Oh, I do not like the sounds. I do not like the sounds. Uh, 120 reps? Jeez, dude. Don't overdo yourself, Chicky Mugs, but uh, GG's. <laughs> Ooh, you had a great beer. Tell me about the beer, Spider-Man. Focus on the good. <laughs> Tell me about the beer. What was it? How did it taste? Two a minute for an hour. That's an endurance trial, dude. That is a lot of lifting. I don't like this whole area. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Panic roll. Panic roll. Panic roll. Oh, he's going to bust the other dude out, isn't he? Oh, no. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? This uh, slowly has become the hallway of hell.
Panic roll, panic roll, panic roll. Run. <laughs> Run. <laughs> oh, goodness. I will catch up on chat in just a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, keep going. Oh no. And I got invaded. I'm dead. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> there's no heckin' way. <laughs> oh, uh, Drekkers, uh, sometime around midnight IPA. Ooh. That sounds really good. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I got really excited and really dead really quickly. <laughs> I now only have 105 reps left for the week. Uh, could take that out tomorrow. And then you'll have lifted a combined weight that equals the amount of Stonehenge. Dude, can we get some GGs for Chicky Mugs? Good work. Good work. That's a lot of physical activity. Okay. So, we'll see what we can do here. But that is very dangerous. This whole area is just very, very dangerous. Uh, yeah, let's just not with that dude. We have to open this again. Ah, uh, we do. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. Should probably go, like, eat some extra protein. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely need to recover from that. And, uh, make sure you get your recovery time in, too. It's very, very important if you're lifting that much. Oh, no. We need to roll. I hate these things. I hate them. Nope, nope, bad. Heal. Where did you come from? Nope. Bad time to heal. Okay. We're good. We're good. I do need to heal, though. There we go. There we go. This guy's going to be right at my tail. Okay. I think I can catch up on chat. Sorry. <laughs> uh, go make a little protein cake. Uh, I'll just make a drink. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like you need some, some calorie replenishment. Uh, oh, hello. You weren't there before. All sorts of new enemies down this hallway of hell. Was that a bonfire in there? Please tell me that's a bonfire in there. Ooh, close. That was close. Definitely get your rest, dude. Definitely get your rest. It is very important. 
Likewise with anybody, if you're doing a lot of physical activity, you need your rest. Recovery is just as important as the work. Alright. There's way too many of these guys in this level. Uh-oh. Not good. Not good. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. This is really bad. No! Heal? <laughs> oh. Spider Mat, I do understand if this is a bit triggering. <laughs> I do understand. Oh, goodness. Okay. And I'm also looking forward to when I eventually get to Elden Ring and I can enjoy in, uh, in the very same Rage Quits as you've uh, unfortunately been a part of. Um, hey, dude. Um, you mind telling me what's going on here with your... Uh, Oh, are these all the giants? Oh, is this where the king and queen murdered all the giants? Same boss like 12 times, and the one time I thought I was going to beat him, my controller... Oh, dude. I am so sorry about that. That is rough. Can he get through this door? Oh, yeah, he can. Oh, Lord, he can. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I bet. <laughs> hey, yeah, we just lost those souls, but that's fine. That's fine. Not happy about it, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So maybe we do some creative dodging. <laughs> or maybe you kill them once and they're dead? Please tell me it's one of those scenarios. That would be super helpful. So there's like a mass corpse pile of giants. There's a giant dragon here. This place is uh, not very welcoming. There's a big guardian lizard. Joy. Joy, 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 joy. Yeah, we're just gonna... <laughs> uh, what kind of protein did you uh, have there, chicken mugs? Uh, ooh, cereal milk. Okay. Nice. That does sound good. Nope. Nope. Can I not go through here because of an invader? Let's just enter anyway. Oh, what is this? I wasn't ready for a dragon fight. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, jeez. Yeah, this one... I might not be ready for this one. I... Yeah. I might not be ready for that one. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Let's go to Huntsman Cops. Uh, gonna go, head out, and head to bed. Hey, Chicky Mugs, good to see you. Congrats on your progress, my friend. And, uh, take care of yourself, all right? Enjoy the recovery, get some hydration, too. I'll, I'll even lift a hydrate cheers for you. And get some good rest, dude. Can we get some hearts and chat for Chicky Mugs? All right, so it's before the skeleton lords. Uh, Wimpy, if you're still about, am I too far back, or do I need to go to the uh, the other uh, the other bonfire up here? Yeah, have a good night. Good to see you. Good to see you. the other dude. And one hit. That's amazing. No. Oh, forlorn. I haven't seen you in so long. Didn't know what to do without you, Forlorn. It's like I was just starting to enjoy Dark Souls 2, Forlorn. Any goats in this game? Goat Lord? Um, I haven't seen any. There's plenty of other beasts, uh, but I haven't noticed any goats. <laughs> but good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome in. Have you played any of the Dark Souls games? Do you only exclusively play games with goats? Either way. Welcome in. Good to see you. Alright. Oh, there we go. There we go. I need to use an effigy soon. Second animal to be domesticated by humans. I don't think I knew that. Uh, do, you, do you happen to know which one was first? Because uh, I don't know if I know that either. But thank you for the uh, the goat fact. Fact, rather. Fact, as in the uh, frequently asked questions, but we didn't ask that question, but we got the answer. Uh, wolf was first, okay. So that was my thought, was going to be dogs or wolves. So we got wolves, we got goats. Mankind was doing pretty good. <laughs> um, mankind was doing pretty good with goats and dogs, I'd say. Uh-oh. Is that the... Uh, I heard the wind almost like the, uh, the pursuer was going to be after me. I didn't need to heal. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh, 
Oh, oh, hello. Hello. Um, I wasn't ready. Oh, the skeletons. I forgot about these dudes. This is my favorite. Going the right way. Hello, skeletons. How do you do, my fellow skeletons? That was awkward. <laughs> Just thinking about the uh, Steve Buscemi meme. How do you do, my fellow kids? They're skeleton lords. I think I've gone too far. And that's skeleton lords as well. Trying to find the uh, chariot boss. Oh no, no. <laughs> uh, that's funny. The dude that murders me falls to his own demise. What a way to die. What a way to die. So Goat Lord, what else can you tell us um, about goats? And do you raise goats? Do you just happen to know facts about goats? Um, you've piqued my interest. And yeah, we have a couple domesticated wolves here too. <laughs> Roxy is the Jack Russell on the left. She's 13. And Lucy is the Shih Tzu on the right. And she's four. We have a couple of domesticated uh, wolves here, and they are probably pretty far away from wolf status <laughs> at this point. They're a couple of spoiled little dogs is what they are. Spoiled, rotten little puppies. Uh, I might not get these souls. Heal, heal, heal. Okay. We might get him back. We might get him back. I like that cute little uh, uh, cat. I think that's from a hype train, I think. It is a cute emote. I do like that one. Uh, let's go ahead and use an effigy. We have a fair amount. Uh-oh. 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 We parked in the wrong spot. Oh my goodness, we're gonna die. We gonna die. Hey dude, not nice. What about your friends? Are they gonna come out? Ooh, I almost ran off the cliff. <laughs> I almost ran off the cliff. Oh, that jerk is just, uh, camping. Okay, let's get our souls here. These dudes don't look like they're doing too good, so I'm just gonna help them. Shuffle the mortal coil there. Wimpy or Quantum, if you're about, um, am I kind of off the, am I too far ahead to, uh, get to the, uh, the chariot? Oh, 
Jeez. You shall not pass! Oh, gore. I was... I usually do the zoom in on the pass, but uh, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. How's it going, dude? How was your Monday? Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, oh, hey, Zoomy. Where are you going? Where are you going, Mr. Zoom? Where are you going, Mr. Zoom? <laughs> Man, he's quick. We're being undead. He's super quick. Yeah. No, uh, we're just not going to catch him. Ogor, how's it going? Uh, have you been doing some more work on uh, Ragnarok? Uh, no spoilers, please. I haven't played since last week, so... Uh, it's really tough to not... To only play the game one night a week. It is really tough. Like, that close to doing Fimble Winter, Fimble Winter Friday and just playing it <laughs> instead of Final Fantasy, but... Uh, did quite a bit of work on Final Fantasy 4 and it felt really good. A little more, maybe a little further than you enjoying it so far. Uh, take my time. That's fair. That is fair. You don't want to get uh, too far into it too quickly. Uh, just one day. Yeah, it's tough. You just crave, you just crave more of it. And... It's all right, though, too. It helps build uh, some excitement. Uh, dog. Okay. Yeah, if you can get that first hit before they get you, it's kind of the, the deal here, I think. And that's a total whiff. Oh, hello. There we go. Uh, have a good souls night. Just want to pop in and say hi. Hey, dude, I appreciate that. Oh, hello. Yep. That's what happens uh, when you read too much chat <laughs> during Dark Souls. You almost get, uh, get shanked from behind there. But, dude, thank you for stopping in. Have a wonderful night. Can we get some hearts in chat uh, for Pelgor, please? So good to see you, dude. Definitely take care and uh, hope to see you soon. Okay. Where are we going here? Just want to explore all these little areas that I did not see before. Let's go back over this way. So there's a wooden bridge there. That I don't know if I've been across. Maybe I have. Oh, that dude's uh, he's running off to nowhere. Maybe I've just missed something here. Definitely missed uh, whatever that is. So can I get... Uh, let's see. Where's my bonfire? A ladder. Oh, hello. <laughs> How about you climb back up so I can kill you? Was he going to do it? Oh, hey, uh... Oh! Awkward. Awkward. This is awkward. <laughs> Did not expect that. I forgot about the hanging dude there. Okay. It looks like you can jump over there. But that's just for the item, and then you have to die. Oh! No! 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 You jerk. <laughs> okay. So, it would be cool if I could get up there and go across that bridge. Oh, no, no, no. Don't die. Don't die now. Okay, perfect. Perfect. 
Oh, and you brought friends. Rude. This was not a plus one. You don't get to invite people. Oh, hello. Alright, I can jump down. Oh yeah, I've been here before. Oh. Forgot about the big pit in the middle. Oh hey, there's more stairs. Maybe I missed that before. Yeah, I don't know if I saw this before. Hey. Okay. Hey, dude, you, it's okay. You can come up here. I didn't kill the party. Okay, maybe I did, but... Alright, I've seen this spot. Of course. Okay. Can I get across that bridge? How do I get across the bridge? Hey, dude. Um. Yeah, there you go. Not illusionary. Oh, that dude's gonna climb up, isn't he? What a weird way, like, how long was he hanging there? I wonder. Just hanging out for ages. Dude, nobody crowned you the uh, hide and seek champion because that's amazing. Hey, uh, Punk's mustache. Welcome in. Enjoy your lurk if you are gonna lurk. Nice to see you. Uh, I see you have one of those very cute uh, caddy emotes from AJ. Always welcome here. Uh, I don't think it's safe. I mean, we're close to a bonfire. I mean, we could. We kind of could. But I kind of don't want to die. It's over here. Illusionary wall, huh? <laughs> uh, you know what? Fine. Let's just do it. Yeet. Yeah, that's a death. That was fun. <laughs> uh, I see you in AJ's chat a bit, uh, so I thought I'd pay you a visit. Hey, I appreciate that. Um, hopefully you're doing well. Welcome in. And if you have a preferred nickname, preferred pronouns... Uh, feel free to share those in chat. I want to make sure you feel welcome. But nice to see you. Thanks for stopping over. Um, Dark Souls 2 is... Uh, <laughs> um, it's Dark Souls 2. It's really interesting. Uh, oh, is it okay if I use Kate? Um, I see AJ is... Uh, let the cat out of the bag here, so... If you're okay with Kate, uh, I want to use whatever nickname you're comfortable with. And if I haven't earned that privilege yet, I totally understand. Okay, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah, um, have you played any of the FromSoft games before, uh, Kate? I played Demon Souls Remake and I played Dark Souls 1 or Dark Souls Remastered, so it's kind of my history with the series. Uh, 
I will say this game is pretty rough until you're about soul level 70 where it starts to get a little more fun. Until then, it can be quite rough. And very unforgiving. I should probably get those souls back before I go any further. Ow, dude. And I went for the big, uh, big strunk build in this one. Usually I'm more of a dex kind of balance person, but, uh, just power stancing with two big swords, and it's been pretty fun, <laughs> but it's been challenging. Uh, have not. I tried playing Dark Souls, but I don't do well. Yeah, it's a definitely a different game style. That's for sure. Okay. There we go. All right. So I know I need to get across that bridge. I just don't know how to get there. How do I get there from here? <laughs> they do kind of look like... Uh, scissors and especially the way lucy holds them too and if you appreciate doggos uh kate i do have a couple of stream puppies that hang out with me the one on the left is roxy she's a 13 year old jack russell the one on the right who's just kind of on camera is lucy uh she's a four-year-old shih tzu and again they're just uh, infinitely more adorable and awesome uh than i could ever be so uh, people usually uh, stick around for them, tolerate the uh, mediocre gameplay and terrible puns in the meantime. <laughs> but Lucy's being a little elusive, aren't you, doggo? Are you hiding? Are you being shy? Yeah, I forgot about this guy behind the... Yeah, there we go. She's being shy. How the heck do I do this wooden bridge thing? If anybody has any tips, um, if you can give me like a slight hint, that would be great. I uh, don't want anybody to completely spell it out for me. Okay, so there's stuff over there I could use to get over to it. Okay. Um, I don't have any problems with Clemson, um, but I just, uh, <laughs> am kind of a mediocre football fan. I, I like it, but I don't follow it a whole lot. So, I, I don't have any strong opinions about teams like Clemson or or big rivalries of places I'm unfamiliar with. Oh, my overlay coloring. So I went uh, kind of for like uh, Halloween and I didn't want to just do the, the straight up uh, uh, orange and black. So I kind of wanted to add some other other colors to it. And so I kind of wanted some, uh, some purple. So uh... Oh, you're a Clemson alum? Nice. I didn't know that, AJ. But, uh, yeah, it was mostly kind of just fall, autumn-themed uh, colors. And so the, the purple and orange is kind of what I landed on. And I like to switch it up seasonally, so I will uh, have something different as soon as uh, Thanksgiving is done. We'll be aiming to switch it up around Christmas time. Okay. So, oh, I can go over here and roll down. That's what I needed to do. Okay. Um, or, no, I can't roll down that way. That's not possible. <laughs> um, 
yeah, I enjoy seasonal stuff. I really enjoy seasonal stuff. So you might see colors change around here from time to time. And the occasional emote switch up. I, I try to do good at those, but man, it's so tough. It is so tough to, uh, to swap out emotes. Oh, hey. Oh, I almost got Zoomy Boy there. Almost got him. Uh, no, don't want poison. Okay. Oh, there's a bridge right up there. Aha. I am learning more about Huntsman's uh, cops than I probably ever wanted to. Here we go. Oh, hello. Oh. Uh, that dude had a big heckin' axe. Uh, that was cool. I can dig that. Oh, hello. No. No. Oh, okay. Okay. I know where I need to go now. Um, they're hops. Um, so, yeah. So I, I homebrew beer. I took a break um, over the course of the pandemic. And so it's, it's funny you ask because I will be... Uh, brewing some beer this weekend and it'll be a brewing stream. It'll be 10 a.m. Central Time. Um, we're going to be brewing a holiday ale. It'll be my first uh, beer back to the brewing game, so it should be... Uh, it'll be fun, but it'll be a bit of a relearning curve, if you will. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Bit of a spoiler there, Lighthawk. <laughs> Bit of a spoiler, my friend. And those biddies uh, you gave me earlier were a bit of a soiler. Uh, they were scared the heck out of me, dude. Thank you for those, by the way. Um, going for a holiday ale, so it's going to be... I think it's like an amber ale base with... Uh, with some orange peel, some holiday spices, and then there's some candy sugar that's added to it as well. Oh no. Ooh. Okay. Somehow I'm not dead. Oh. Somehow I'm not dead. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what we're going for. It might be drinkable by Christmas. It might not. Uh, we'll definitely do some tasting notes on stream. Uh, so it's not going to be like a, a cooking show where it's like... Uh, you know, like you do part of it and then show the finished product. It's something we're going to make all that day. So it, it's going to be a long, long stream. Uh, it does take a while for he things to heat up and things like that. It does take roughly 21 days to ferment. And then after you bottle it, it does take a bit to uh, bottle condition. Oh, hello. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I need to heal. I need to heal. I need to heal. I need to heal. This is awful. This is awful. Oh, no. Oh, he's trying to whip me. This is weird. Um, it's fun, and you can, and that's the thing with home brewing. You can get as far into it as you want to. You can make it as complicated and mathematical and scientific as you want. And you can also make it just as kind of goofy and spontaneous and laid back as you want to. Um, well, you know, there there's some things I do okay at, some things I don't do okay at, and it'll kind of be like relearning, so might be kind of learning together. <laughs> um, but it's fun. 
and I'll be doing an all all grain batch. Um, when you start out, I would recommend doing probably an extract batch or two. Not that you have to. You could dive right into all grain if you wanted, and there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, <clears throat> it's a little more complicated, a little more equipment to it, a little more uh, time consuming. But in the end, you have a lot more uh, control over the final product. Oh, no, dude. Oh, Whip Boy scared me, and I died. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. <laughs> my goodness. And so when I first started brewing beer, um, I started using facial hair names uh, as kind of like a theme. And for Christmas, I would brew beer, and it would be a different recipe every time. So that way it'd be kind of like a fun Christmas gift, you know. And so I called it Santa's Secret Stash, like mustache. And then, uh, so that's the, the name we'll use for this one, too. Uh, how about you come on down, dude? Uh, hey, how about you uh, come on down? I won't bite. <laughs> I'm excited to get back to it, but it is something I'm a little nervous about. And it's always one of those things, you know, you always kind of when you stream things, you get nervous about it, too. So <laughs> it'll be fun. There will be a few moments where... We'll be waiting for things to heat up and things like that. We'll do some like words on stream, or things for for something for people to do, because it can be a little boring. Not gonna lie, it can be a little boring. It's a lot of waiting. Nope. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is awful. I'm glad I missed this spot before the Skeleton Lords, because this is terrible. I do want to get one more boss tonight, so if we can get to this other boss. And you know, I do have... Uh, depending on how... It's kind of rough to set up, because um, it'll be a semi-mobile laptop setup because of... Uh, It's going to be semi-indoors, semi-outdoors, so, you know, it'd be fun to play some Jackbox, but uh, I don't know how I, could, how I could swing that without having more than one monitor. <laughs> but we'll at least have some words on stream and some various things. It'll be fun. This was a charity uh, incentive goal. I did a... charity stream for the Trevor Project uh, back in I think July or August? Might have been July. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. And so, as such, uh, it's been a while in the making to get this, uh, to do this brewing stream. So it'll be fun. Oh, GeoGuessr? Yeah, that could be fun, too. Uh, let's see here. Can we do just like aggro one dude at a time? No. 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 What's with the whips? What's with this stuff? My gosh. So there's a cool mechanic to this game and they don't really tell you. It's just, uh, if you can't get good, just kill one of them enough times that they don't respawn. Oh, maybe that guy doesn't respawn now? Cool. Oh, no, wait, he does. So I think it's 12 times uh, you have to kill, and then they won't respawn. Oh, hello. And I see you coming up behind me here, dude. 
I don't understand the gurgling noises, but, uh, yeah, yeah, it was a fun charity stream. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, and AJ was heckin' generous, too. I'm not gonna let you get out of any recognition of that, AJ. You were very generous during that stream, so... Big, big thank you for that. All right here. Let's see where we're going. Oh, oh no, Mr. Skeleton, no. I said no. <laughs> I do not consent, Mr. Skeleton. Uh, yeah, yeah, that would be the one. Feel free to out yourself on that because uh, it was heckin' awesome, dude. AJ has an amazingly big heart. He is an, an amazing human. Let's just uh, funnel these guys this way. There we go. No. Nope. <laughs> this part is so bad. Why would they do this? Why would they put this in a video game? Why would they do this? What have you done to me? Miyazaki, what have you done to me? Uh, <laughs> but definitely AJ, uh, all the help is uh, much appreciated. It's a pretty cool cause uh, for those that don't know about the Trevor Project. Hoping I can do a yearly stream for them would be pretty cool. I know there's some local uh, LGBTQIA plus charities near me that I hope to maybe do some stuff with next year uh we tried to set up some things for this year but it didn't quite work out for pride month so i'm hoping to do that next year lurk time for you dude i appreciate you hanging out so late especially after streaming so take care and uh you're doing more resident evil on uh on wednesday right you're gonna finish it out Seriously, if you haven't uh, gone and said hello to AJ, uh, definitely do it. He's a good dude. And he's uh, mighty, mighty supportive of uh, this channel, certainly. Can't even count how many times he's raided us. Uh, let's see. Let's use an effigy. Yeah, if you're to the lab, uh, you'll definitely get it next stream. You'll definitely get it next time. Have a good night. Can we get some hearts in chat for AJ, please? Good to see you, dude. Heckin' good to see ya. Nope. Nope. Oh. out of stamina <laughs> no <laughs> no I'm having more trouble with these dudes than I did with any boss tonight good gourd good gourd uh oh I heard I heard him drop down 
hurt him that time. There we go. There we go. Also, Kate, if you know, uh, if you know Joe and Tay, uh, I know they were working on some Dark Souls 2 as well. I'm not sure where they're at with their journey at the moment. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, I figured so if you were, uh, a regular over at AJ's channel, but uh, you never know. Never know. I know they were working on this uh, hellscape of a game, too. Uh-oh, did I accidentally summon something? Or Oh, okay. I'm trying not to uh, summon in this game, but uh, yeah. Oh, they're somewhere with bells ringing. Yeah, I was there earlier tonight. <laughs> it was, uh, it's not fun. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. There we go. That's better timing. go. Oh, no, not quite. That's better. Okay. Uh, I'll have to check their VOD, because uh, I did take him down earlier tonight. Who else did I fight? Uh, the Demon of Song. It's like a big frog thing. I'm not sure if you've seen that. That thing's pretty, uh, pretty formidable. The Shrine of Amana was just awful. So I think that guy was the one that was following me all the way across the bridge. Like a big jerk. Undead Purgatory. Just a wonderful place to be. Yes, get wrecked, dude. Get the heck out of here. Seriously, no bonfire? No bonfire up here? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay. Oh, this is definitely a boss. All right. Definitely don't want to be out in the open. Oh. No, no, no. Get back. You know what? Let's just, uh heal and uh, chill out here for a second. This is going to be really interesting. Okay. Run. got to be some type of thing to this. Oh, hey. What's this do? Oh, 
no, no, no. No, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Ooh. Oh, that was close. <laughs> yeah, it's nice that they were uh, taking out the skeletons. Oh, hello. Oh, so now we just have the horse. And the skeletons. Yeah. Oh. Whatever it's doing is hurting the skeletons. That is good. Oh, I fought one of these at the uh, Dringlet Castle. And it wasn't uh, incredibly difficult, but it just was kind of time consuming. Yes, let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like uh, dark magic is kind of what it is. Oh, watch these skeletons beat me now. I would laugh. <laughs> All right, let's definitely see what's keeping these skeletons alive. And if we can get out of here alive, would be really nice. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Let's go this way. <laughs> All right. Bonfire? Oh, bonfire. Yes, give me bonfire. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed bonfire? Ooh, hey. Who is this? Oh, welcome. 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 Thanks for the hype. Never lost blood. Um I guess so. Yes, of course. Why else would you be here? Do you give yourself the Nur Alma? I mean sure. Then you will need blood. Okay. Undead blood, like your own. But it's not as easy as you think. <laughs> All the laughter in these games is ridiculous. What do you say? Join the Brotherhood of Blood. Yeah. Hmm. That can hardly be the whole story. I want okay. to hear what you really think. You want more than just a little blood. You want to be drenched in blood. Mired in its foul stench, am I right? No, that sounds off. I... Oh, would you say that I'm right? Huh? <laughs> Man, this guy is strange. Yeah, I have no idea what this covenant does, but sure. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Fantastic. You're the best. Okay. Now you are a servant of Na Alma. Do you give me any items? Is yours. Okay. Yeah, he's creepy. No. Another servant of blood is born. It's kind of giving me some Silent Hill vibes. Well, I just know you will. <laughs> or do you well, have any more dialogue? Whatever you need, I've got it. Um, you know anything about tokens of spite? Well, you can fight other blood servants with them. I'll avoid you if you win. You know, a crack. Red. Ah, tell me if you need it. Yeah. 
I'm guessing it's a PvP uh, covenant. Sounds like. Okay, it sounds like it's time to get the heck out of here. Away from this creepy dude. So, where was the undead purgatory at? Oh, just here. So, I know that was an optional boss. Um, gotten through a lot of bosses. Uh, Now I opened up... Oh, Aldia's Keep is what we opened up. And there's a dragon boss in there, but I wasn't quite ready for that. I try it again. You know what? I think there might be a door here in uh, Dranglet Castle we might be able to go through. Because we did get the king's uh, the king's ring, which allows us to uh, go to new places. What's up here? Oh right, uh, there was a spot in the basement here um, that we didn't do all of with uh, some ruined sentinels that were down there. Let's uh, give that a try. You know, in case I didn't think my death counter was high enough tonight, let's uh, give that a try before we end stream. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh, oh, and there's King's Gate right down there. Let's uh, take a peek at that, too. Why not? I'm up a little late, but that's okay. I do kind of want to get through this game before... Uh, the end of the calendar year is kind of the goal. Yes, torture. Just a little bit of uh, extra torture before bed. No big deal. Yeah, because I want to start Dark Souls 3 at the beginning of 2023. I think that would be super cool. Throne of Want. Okay, this is definitely a new area. And it's not super creepy at all. Yeah, I'm hoping so, but I also want to do all bosses, and that includes optional bosses and DLC. So, and I do take some time at the end of the year to travel to uh, visit family, so. We'll be taking some time off, too. But we'll see. It might be a little crunched. Uh, what's in here? Throne Watcher and Throne Defender. Okay. Oh, bad. Bad timing. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Can I get a heal? Nope. Okay. That's fine. You know what? You might be able to get another boss in. We got three bosses in tonight. Let's give this one a try. Might be able to... Because this one isn't a bad boss run either. It's just waiting for this door to open. And given how much damage was done on the first shot, I yeah, I think it's possible. You won't do it? Are you sure, Jared? Um, this boss tonight or Dark Souls 2 before the end of the year? Or both? Or was that a both kind of thing? <laughs> Perfect. I, I appreciate your faith in me, sir. I appreciate it. Let's 
is a cool run. Or is this like final boss territory? We want those souls back. Can I get him back? Oh no, this is bad. I really want those souls. wasn't expecting. Oh, dang. Okay. These two are not slouches, by all means. them separated oh geez uh i will catch up on chat in just a second here dang Ding, ding, ding. Jeez. Well, I burned through all my Estus. like that uh, we're getting some phase two kind of stuff going here. Oh, that was a big whiff. That was uh, not needed. Oh, how? How? How did that happen? Oh, no. Dangerously close to the ledge, and I have no idea where the defender's at. need a clean shot here. Ooh. I would have been gutsy. Had I gone and done that, I might have gotten a good shot. hit on the watcher. It's panic rolling. It's panic rolling. Oh, no. 
Shield down, Watcher. Shield down. Yes. Yes. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, I will catch up on chat in just a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so very nervous. Oh, he was about to revive her, wasn't he? Holy cow. Oh, that was stressful. That was so very stressful. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, not sure what else I can do here at the moment, so let's just uh, go back to a bonfire and uh, spend all these souls. My gosh, <laughs> thanks for the uh, the GGs. Uh, let me get caught up on chat here too. There we go. Uh, yeah, just getting them separated was rough. Uh, lore scroll isn't allowing me to pick it up. Uh, tried resetting the game. No dice. Two hours. Oh, is this uh, God of War? Uh, Shrefty? Uh, yeah, I appreciate the naysayer there, Jared. I, I appreciate that. You got to keep me in check. <laughs> you got to keep me in check, dude. Um, you know what? Let's just homeward bone this thing. Uh, I don't want to just do a woolly brain moment and fall off the ledge or something stupid like that. Uh, homeward bone. There we go. My gosh. That's exciting. That's exciting. Um, Majula. Spend these souls. 100,000. I think this is the first time in the game I've had over 100,000. Sadly, I can't find anyone else online with this. Oh, no. That would be rough, dude. Of the until hope. Uh, okay. So we're just going to go full big strong, get up to at least 50. Or should we balance it out a little bit? Uh, let's balance it out. That's balanced out. Oh, that's nice. That is so nice. That is a really good spot to leave it to because I have no idea where to go. And uh, I don't want to get too far in because then I'll just want to play all night. But it's good to end on a good boss victory. <laughs> get you a little bit of background music here and... Uh, We'll find someone to raid out to. Uh, and I need to remember to quit out the game because I keep forgetting to do that. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Let's see who's online. Never doubt you for a second. I appreciate that, Jared. You're too nice. <laughs> but thank you for uh, keeping my head level. At least a little bit. A little bit level. Anyway, just a reminder, doing a brewing stream on Saturday, 10 a.m. Central, uh, whatever that translates to your time zone, uh, feel free to stop on by. Grab a pint, we'll chill, we'll hang out, and uh, it'll be a good time. So uh, 10 a.m. Uh, this Saturday. I also, for those newcomers, I do stream Monday, Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central. Uh, God of War Ragnarok again on uh, Wednesday. And then Friday mornings is bright and early. Uh, I do 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. We do Final Fantasy around here. So it will be a continuation of Final Fantasy IV. And as soon as I get done with that, we're going to go right into Crisis Core Reunion because I'm very, very excited to finally experience uh, the story of Zach Fair. So let's see who's online tonight. I'll give you a little more puppy cam. A little more puppy cam for you. 
Oh, Lucy. Hi, girlfriend. Great to pop in. Uh, looking forward to more. Hey, I appreciate it, uh, Kate. I really do. Thank you for uh, swinging by tonight. Uh, let's see who's online. Who's online tonight? Let's see. Chris X Chad is playing uh, Plague Tale Requiem. I'm going to refrain from that in case anybody hasn't played uh, uh, the first game, which I haven't. Uh, so I'm trying to avoid spoilers. <laughs> oh, that was a big plop down, Lucy. Are you tired? Uh, Piggyback Variety is playing some Donut County. Who else is on there? Um, let's see here. Oh! Uh, maybe we can raid Iceheart. We haven't raided Iceheart in a while. <laughs> I'm going to channel Roxy's energy now. Me too. As soon as I raid out, I'm going to be uh, <laughs> a sleepy puppy just like that. Um, yeah, let's see what Iceheart's up to. Uh, also, we have Blue Hair Gamers doing some Power Wash Simulator. Think just chatting stream for ice art. Uh, yeah, let's go over to uh, let's go over to Blue Hair Game. So it looks like they're playing some games. Hope everyone has a good night. Saint Hot Cheeto, good to see you. Uh, Power Wash Simulator puts you to sleep. Well, it, maybe it's the right time uh, of evening for that. Uh, also, I am so bad with my raid messages this month, so bear with me as I uh, craft one of those for you. Uh, right. I swear I'll get this figured out just in time for uh, a new month. But <laughs> here we go. Wooly raid for the subs. There you are. Also, non-subs, hold on. I'll get you a raid message as well. Don't want you to be left out. There we go. There's your two raid messages. We're going to raid over to the Blue Hair Gamer. Share some support. Uh, very hype stream. Very uh, interactive with chat. So maybe it won't put you to sleep. Or maybe it will. <laughs> Either way. Um, please stick around with the raid if you can. And I know that uh, Twitch raids really haven't been working that great when I've uh, been watching other streams. So it's Blue Hair Gamer with two R's on the on the gamer part. In case you need to uh, find your way over there that way. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you with some more God of War Ragnarok on Wednesday. Take care of yourselves, okay, everybody? Um, why did that raid not go? Well, let's do this. There we go. There we go. Take care of yourselves. Stay hydrated, okay? Get some rest. And uh, that's really important. And if you get a chance, take care of each other too. Be, be there for your friends if they need that support. And, uh, well, I really thank you all for everything tonight. Thank you for the biddies from Para Gamer. Thank you for the resub from AJ. And also uh, Anonymous, whoever you are with the two gifted subs. Thank you very, very much. Your generosity. Uh, I wish I could thank you, <laughs> but I, I thank you regardless. Uh, thank you, just all the new friends, all the fun we had tonight. Thank you for the raids as well. Let me give a quick shout out to Revo and also Wobble Pop. Thank you for swinging by with those raids. Much, much appreciated. Take care, my friends, and uh, we'll catch you Wednesday. Cheers.